There we go. Going live. We are live. All right. Hello, everybody who's showed up so far. There we go. Right now, we are just uh, ironing out a couple last little last minute technical difficulties as we get ready for the stream. Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. Oh, yeah, everybody, say hi to Speedrunner. I just put up a YouTube poll on my end saying who's going to beat round two first? Egg is using Zekrom. My one vote is for Egg. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it'll happen. Don't worry. I'm going to screw up enough times. I'm 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 not going to save at a certain point. <laughs> I don't know though. You're you're more accustomed to round 2. I haven't fought round 2 league in probably like almost a year. That's fair. That's fair. Round 2 for sure, but I'm talking about like the rest of the game. Like I I'm going to be at Giovanni. I'm going to get a reset to an earthquake, a critical earthquake, and it's going to send me back to like Cerulean. That's my prediction. <laughs> All right. Yep. For those of you curious, uh, uh, Egg is going to be starting with Zekrom, and I'll be starting with Reshiram. There we go. People in my chat are saying hi, Ryan and AMW. Game Dev Made Easy said you suck. Uh, of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> Ho-Oh, to be fair, Lugia and Ho-Oh are a duel. It's true. Um... Were they both ho -Oh? I think they both ended up being ho -Oh, not a ho -Oh and a Lugia. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think Axie just replaced ho -Oh both times. Yeah. Uh, by the way, my, my chat, if, uh, if Speedrunner is loud or quiet compared to me or the music or anything, just let me know. I am happy to uh, adjust the volumes as we go. Yep. Does your overlay show friendship? No. No, I do not show right, friendship. Just uh, letting you know, uh, both legendaries start out with zero friendship, so it's going to be a while till you get returned. <laughs> so return. Well, they learn frustration. We can maybe use that for you know a small crossover. Uh, He's very. Okay, uh, you're very quiet compared to me, apparently. So I'm going to risk turning this up, but just let me know how that works in relation to the music that I'm having, and and keep keep me posted on how Speedrunner's volume is. I also moved my mic a bit closer. Ah, oh, there you go. Simple solutions to complex problems. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, they're, they're good solutions until you have to fix it again later. Exactly. Uh, you don't hear the music? Kate? Okay, I will turn it up slightly. I just don't want to overpower Speedrunner or myself. Well, if you seem too loud to me, I can always turn you down in Discord. True, 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 true. Still a little quiet comparatively? Okay, well, I'm going to turn the music down and speedrunner up. Well, actually, on Discord, you're maxed already. <laughs> yeah, I wish it goes above 200% sometimes. He needs like a 50% boost. Yeah, speaking of gym leader, Matt, your ears must have been burning. We were just mentioning you. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, okay, I'm going to risk taking this all the way up, and I'm going to take the music down one more notch. I'm just so worried about it being overpowering. I think the one stream I did with a third person where I wanted above 200% for Discord was Scott. Like, on his streams, he sounds fine, but through Discord voice chat, he is really quiet. Interesting. Like, Maybe... even 200% isn't enough sometimes. Like, I wish I could turn him up 300%. <laughs> just go into, like, the system and change everything. Gym yeah. leader Matt, uh oh, nah, I didn't hear that. Nah, we we were just saying because uh, we were we were determining what to call each other on stream, and I said, uh, you know, Speed, you can call me Matt, and he's like, nah, that's confusing. We we stream with gym leader Matt sometimes. Ah, okay, fire, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll do. We're doing one with him on Saturday. We're doing a a Gen One backport with Torterra because that's what Matt wanted. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> Speaking of Torterra, guess what's going live on Friday? Tomorrow. Coincidence. <laughs> uh, take the music down. Okay, so I think I've got it set now again. So 
Let me know if it's a little bit loud or not. Your fiance's name is Matt. That's awesome, Miss Cheeky. Hello, JP. How are you today? Also, Gym Leader Matt, thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Don't, didn't mean to put you on the spot immediately. From my experience with the back ports starting at zero friendship, uh, you normally get to like, I think you get to max friendship by probably the seventh gym, assuming you use a ton of vitamins. The seventh if you gym, don't, okay. It's yeah, if you don't use many vitamins, then it's probably going to be near the start of the league you get max friendship. Yeah, because yeah, usually... Yeah, yeah. Usually, I think, uh, as long as I'm not doing too much grinding in the early part of the run, I think by the time I'm acquiring Return, my friendship is around that, like, 180 to 190 level, so it's usually stronger than Secret Power, but that's with, like, a normal Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, at least we get Slash by level up. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at the learn sets. I was a little confused why, uh... The other one, Reshiram, didn't learn Flamethrower by TM. Actually, I don't think... Yeah, no, they didn't oh, learn really Flamethrower by TM. Yeah. I think Axie might have forgotten to put those in. I That Just makes no sense. Toggle over. Yeah, it doesn't okay. learn He's... Fire Blast either. It's fine, I mean... Yeah, it's not yeah. like we're going to use... No. It learns Flamethrower and Eruption, which is yeah. so much better than Fire Blast. Anyway, back yeah. to Zekrom. <laughs> Eruption was to kind of replace a uh, fusion flare. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you sound loud compared to him. Could you turn yourself down a little bit? Yes, I could. That's a solution. I'll turn myself down a couple of decibels. I running it out. I running. I running it out. Uh, you got to love this early game Pokemon music. Just so... Oh no, never mind, this is Sevi Islands, but, you know, just Pokemon music. So nice, so gentle. Mm-hmm. How you doing yeah, on speedrun? Like oh. Sevi Islands. Oh, yeah. Uh, How you doing on setup, sir? Uh, me? Yep. I'm all set up, just waiting for you to finish. All right, yeah, we're uh, we're ready to go then. All right. So, uh, just for this uh, run with uh, for with uh, me guys over on Eggstream, uh... We're starting our run upon loading our save file with the stats already set, just to help speed things up during the stream, because we are going to be doing round two. Yes. And uh, we did already give our Pokedex, like, already completed, so we could get leftovers, but we're not going to allow ourselves to get it till we beat the round one champion. Yep. Yeah, just so we don't have to pause the run and open PK Hat. Yeah, just trying to make the, uh, the stream itself go as smoothly as possible. Alrighty, all right. well, you want to count us in? Yep, you all ready? I'm ready to go. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, no pressure. Yep. <laughs> Except for the pressure coming from Sparky over here. Yeah, both of the legendaries have pressure. Yeah. And the good news is Dragon Rage is pretty much just going to one-shot everything for the first, like, entire leg of the, <laughs> of the game. Yep. I'm going to have to start paying attention a bit more. I'm playing on four times speed. <laughs> I have been playing Soul Silver for the last, and White for the last two weeks, so I have no muscle memory anymore for a second. <laughs> You'd be surprised sometimes just how long muscle memory can stick. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you normally start egg? I'm drawing a blank. Do you... PK Hex like that normally? Uh, yeah, so normally I start the timer, I go all the way up to Professor Oak, I grab my starter, and then I save, quit, edit the starter, come back in, restart the timer, and then the run starts. Little bit manual, yeah. but I, I find it to be, you know, consistent at least. Yeah, it's basically he includes the intro in his time, basically. Yes. Yeah. So today, like, uh, I just started the timer at zero once we started, uh, again, or once once we came back into the game after editing my Pokemon, or our Pokemon. Uh, usually I'd be hitting that at around, like, 40 to 45 seconds, but uh, I figure that's pretty negligible <laughs> today. Yeah. It was actually kind of worrying catching my Rattata. I didn't know if any of my moves would one-shot, but thankfully Ancient Power doesn't for Reshiram. Ooh. Actually, am I the physical one, or am I the special one? 
You're the physical one. Zekrom's 150 attack, 120 special. Gotcha. Oh gosh, chat. I'm gonna have All a hard right. time hearing you or reading you today. I'm like, oh, I'm in focus mode a little bit. <laughs> I think you're scared. Yep. <laughs> gonna get showed up in my own game. Well, it's not really my own game, but you know. <laughs> hey, I, I, I started it first. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Sounds more like mixed attacking? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how these uh, learn sets are. They're pretty interesting. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Such good music. I'm sorry if I just, like, randomly start singing. <laughs> I'm used to that during your streams, Egg. That's fair. That's fair. I'm a goofy dude. Ooh, learning Slash. Uh, bye, Dragon Breath. Huh. Oh, I just I decided to delete Dragon Breath 2. I wasn't sure if I should keep Ancient Power or not. I want it as the special guy. And plus, with no way to set up, I might uh, think about some cheesy... You know, if, if we get stuck in round two, I can see uh, maybe making some questionable calls. With, uh, like, yeah. just trying to go for an Omni Boost kind of thing, maybe. Yeah. Brock I never get those when I want them. I've seen them more on Lance than my own. <laughs> right. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, uh, you've been playing a lot of Gen 3 and forgot I... Forgot if I have Voodoo that didn't use PK Hex? No, I don't. I'm not smart enough for that Voodoo. <laughs> are we doing HP and Meowth Army? We are not. So, uh, Speedrunner and I, we kind of merged our rule sets. So that, um... It was kind of fair for both of us, so he is playing on four times speed instead of three times speed. I will not be picking up my army of meowths. Just little little concessions, just to make uh, things as fair as possible. <laughs> yeah. Plus, uh, I am gonna have to do round two. Hopefully, I can remember it. Yeah. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah. Although on the higher speed, I keep encountering trainers. Oh. I guess that's where, like, my, my advantage is, is this that I'm used to playing at four times speed, so maybe I won't bonk quite as much? <laughs> maybe. Uh, you got concessions? I'm just going in raw with their full rules. <laughs> Aw, gym leader mad. If only life were that simple. There we go. Um... So, I don't know what your plan is, Speedrunner, but I'm just kind of hard-pressing progress right now. I'm uh, not going to focus on any grinding or extras or anything like that. Just pushing for progress until I get stuck. Yeah, I usually don't do early game training with a legendary. No, It no. really doesn't need it. No, not... I mean, even though Reshiram might struggle with Misty, we can always just do Rival 2 first. It's true, and you're neutral against her. Or she's neutral against you, I guess. Yeah. Dragon Rage is going to do work there, too. <laughs> I think her Starmie is at, like, 50-something HP. Um, I can't recall the HP. I know the speed stat is 53, but... Yeah. Uh, what do I got? For? Oh, yeah, I got plenty of dra oh, Dragon Rage against Grimer. First thing it didn't one-shot. <laughs> Round two hiker is going to be tough for Zekrom. All those Steelixes. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm just going to go. I'm going to cry in the corner with my flamethrowers on it. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, like, oh, wait a minute. We get Earthquake. But yeah, flamethrower, way better. Yep. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, four times speed is definitely a massive difference. I'm used to my Brock splits being five and a half minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Dee. Uh, just so that everybody knows, I cannot see Speedrunner's stream, so I do not know how he's doing relative to how I'm doing. Guess we'll toss up my first save of the game, eh? <laughs> right now, I just beat Rival 2. My friendship is 59. You just beat Rival 2? Okay, I'm just starting Rival 2. Uh, I have not, yeah, I don't have my friendship available. And I've got actually my stream over top of my game hook where I have my frozen stats, so it's fine. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh yeah, in terms of natures, both of our runs are going to be using a neutral nature. Yes. Less, less stuff to think about. That's good for me. <laughs> yeah, good for you. Uh, crunch. Okay, buy slash. I'm definitely going to have the early game advantage just because, uh, like, most of our move set at this point is special, and mm -hmm. Restram has the better special. Oh, whoops. Going going for Spark against Oddish. That's probably not great. Um, Let's see. In Rip. Lake... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. In the late game, though, you're definitely going to have a much better time with Return and Earthquake than I will. Mm hmm. In theory, I anyway. Is... I think Electric is a better typing at the league than Fire. I. Hmm. I want to agree with you. Like, my snap. My snap. I, like, my snap instinct is to agree with that but i fire's got an interesting like co like interaction with the league right because like it's not really strong against anything but aside from the earthquakes it's not really weak against much uh, i don't know electric though i just i, I feel like electric just gets bullied so much i really hate poison point <laughs> I'm so surprised that I have not gotten one yet. Apparently, I just found out Flame Wheel is a contact move. Uh, yep. Special. Yep. Well, because it's, yeah, it's physical in uh, Gen 4, is it not? Also, just leveled up and got 69 hit points. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I need to be using, why am I using that so much? Let's go to Spark. Get Spark up here. How oh. good are you at the bag trick? At the oh for avoiding spinners, yeah, absolutely awful. <laughs> I think I'm pretty good at it. Although the four times speed might throw my timings off a bit. Mm -hmm. One little trick I do is uh, in the early game till I get the bike, I put my TM bag on the select button. It helps oh, okay. uh, with the uh, bag manips. Gotcha. Yeah, usually I don't do anything with the bag, or I don't register anything until I get the bike. Yeah, obviously Ugh. when I get the bike, I'll select that one instead. Yeah, I just ran right into a uh, the guy um, right before Bill's house that's running up and down, uh, Youngster Chad. I, I did the same thing, too. I uh, stopped to do the bag manip one tile too far, and he <laughs> saw me. Yeah. I just messed up my timing and just ran right into him. Uh, my chat is saying, rip game hook. Did you see, did you see Scott's, Scott's video about it? Yes, I did. It's uh, unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah, at least it's a. Uh, at least it's not an online running program. That'd be worse. Yeah. Because it would be pretty much not working for anybody. No. Yep. Yeah, that'd be interesting. <laughs> so yeah, Egg and I are the special ones. Not me today. I'm all physical. I'm all brawn. No brain. So with restaurant. Gonna be uh, no brawn, no brain. <laughs> exact. Wait, rush. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's exactly how it's gonna go. Ah, uh, Misty. Sparky throwing sparks at Misty. Yeah. One shot. One shot. I, <laughs> I had to uh, three shot her with a uh, slash, and luckily yeah. I had the person berry, but I really should have just used crunch on it. Yeah, crunch. Crunch is nice. That would have been a better thought. You know what I'm also realizing is because I'm not catching any meowths, I might have, or I, I would have been better served catching uh, some meowths or some, or um, a Rattata and Pidgey at the start of the game rather than now, because now I have to try and yeah. damage them, or just cat Yolo ball them. Oh. Oh yep, yeah. you just you get stuck in a certain way of doing things, right? I don't know if I'll use this, but we can learn Brick Break, so I will go ahead and get it. Yep, I'm going to be grabbing Brick Break as well. Well, definitely me, <laughs> since I'm the physical one. Yeah, you have more to benefit from that, especially with, uh, what's his face? The Hiker. Uh, Bruno. Or any of the no, Hikers. The Dudley. Actual, <laughs> no, the actual Hiker. Uh, what is there? There's Dudley. Allen's caught me a couple times in Rock Tunnel. Who is that guy again? Uh, Dudley is the guy with the oh, yeah. two Geodudes and the Graveler. That's that's Dudley. 
Oh, I thought you were talking about some other trainer. I thought you said Adley. I'm like, who's Adley? Um, there's Al Len, who's before Dudley, who's got, I think he's just got like a single 25 Geodude, that guy. Um, he's magnitude oh. 10 me before, so. <laughs> yeah, it, I actually uh... did the math. I actually did the math on stream the other day. Someone in my chat mentioned uh, they used big on their Typhlosion and an opponent Geodude used magnitude. So I just pretended it was magnitude 10, yep. included stab super effective underground. Mm -hmm. It's roughly a base power of 900. <laughs> I was actually just wondering the other day, like, what is the, like, highest theoretical base power you could get to? And, like, uh, the, the highest I could think of is, um, like, rollout or ice ball after a defense curl, getting up to, like, 1440, I think, if they're super effective. But that's the highest I could think of. I know the high. I know one of the. I know the highest in Gen Two is like seven hundred and twenty. Okay, yeah. Sounds rightish. I swear I had a in one of the videos. It was a fourteen forty effective power hit in in one of the. I think it was in Wall Rain's video. Okay, paying attention to chat again. So focused on like the run itself and just like talking to one person. <laughs> yeah, you're. Is this your first uh, co-op stream? This is my first collaborative stream, yes. 1440 neutral, stab, then super effective damage. Is that rollout with the ice ball slash whatever? It might have been shuckle. <laughs> Hitting stuff with 1440 effective power on a shuckle. Booyah. Now we just need like the plus six to go with that with our five attack. Do, do, do. So good. All right. So how's your run so far? I was just going to ask. Uh, I am teaching cut and dig to my Meowth right now. I just got the bicycle. Oh, so you've beaten Surge already? Yep. Ooh. You are definitely ahead of me. I keep hitting optional trainers like it's my job. <laughs> oh, and I'm so worried about getting paralyzed. I keep going for dragon rages. I'm just... This is why I do two playthroughs, because I'm just an absolute idiot in my first one most of the time. <laughs> yeah, it'll just be one playthrough each since we're doing two Pokemon. Correct. I mean, you're always free to do a second playthrough on your own if you mm -hmm. want to. I was thinking about it. Oh gosh, and I'm so used to playing Soul Silver now that I'm like trying to use my mouse to like operate my bag. Yeah, I had to do a Soul Silver stream the other day, or Heart Gold stream the other day. Yep. I really do not like the bag in that game. It's awful. <laughs> I've been getting more used to it, but it's uh, yeah, it's definitely interesting. Yeah, Come I mean on. you can still use the D-pad for it, but it's still annoying either way. I find it so much easier on four times game speed to uh, not use the gamepad and just use the mouse, but like, ugh, it, it, it again is just taking used to, or get, it takes getting used to. Ah, oh, why am I sucking so much? Crunch. Yeah. Actually, the one thing I really do not like in Heart Gold, like with the menu, when you try and save the game and then it finishes saving, but you're still in the menu, so if you spam A, you'll save again. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that a lot. I've had to... Well, because of my muscle memory on Fire Red, right? It has me spamming one button, but then on yeah. Soul Silver, it's like, no, I don't want to save six times in a row, please. I'd like to move on. Yeah. Do we learn Aerial Ace? Oh. We do not. It doesn't get Brick Break. Uh, I looked on the move set that you DM'd us. You included Brick Break for Reshiram. Uh, TM also, uh, Brick Break. Yeah, I've got also, it. Act two, uh, Egg and I just noticed uh, for Reshiram's move set, you apparently didn't give it Flamethrower or Fire Blast by TM. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> Go for some crunchy. Oh my gosh, why am I going for crunch against Oddish? Who poisons me? Psychic! There we go. Slash is really good, just a spam A type of move. I think I got rid of Slash already. <laughs> 
Oh, God, I didn't mean to jump down here. Oh, here comes another optional. Nope, never mind. Got by him. Uh, did I? Yeah, I did get rid of Slash already. I don't know. Have you ever, oh, have you ever encountered that one spinner after Hiker Dudley? He's got the three Slowpoke. Uh, yes, I have, uh, in my haste, if you run by the spinners, as you probably know, they will, aut like, just automatically turn to face you if you run by them, so, uh, I have yeah. definitely, in my haste, ran by him once or quite twice, and, uh, that has cost me. Yeah. So what I'll either do is I'll try and walk right next to him and do the bag trick, or yeah. I might just risk it and just bike past him in the dark. I just... Works. It's works half the time i just go for it most of the time <laughs> yeah it may not be the best but like hey you don't come to exceptional stream to watch top level gameplay <laughs> oh spark or crunch the eternal question against slowpoke zekrom honestly suffers in in this backport because spark is not physical mm-hmm Plus, there's dra no physical Dragon Claw either. Yeah. There's a... Feels like a fair... Oh, gosh. Where am I? That moment when you get lost in Rock Tunnel? Ouch. <laughs> if you ever want to go back to it for round two, I think they both get the tutor for Rock Slide. Uh, yes. Yes, I saw... I think they both... Oh, no. Um. Yes, I think they both do. You are correct. Um, really should have restored my PP before getting into this one. Special stab and physical I, coverage is good, though. That's true point. Oh, somebody's playing silly and using an elixir. Man, the four times speed, it's like, I'm playing fine in like 80% of the game, but then 20% of it, all my menu muscle memory is off. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried to run up to the to an ether that's on the ground, and mm -hmm. I ran like one spot too far. Yep, yep. <laughs> that moment when you forget all the countless hours navigating Rock Tunnel, right? <laughs> yep. It's funny, Rock Tunnel, for whatever reason, like, it's just one of those maps that I've always remembered because I spent so much time in the, in the, in the, um, Gen 1 just wandering around in the dark. Yeah. We need a bonk counter? Yeah, I definitely need a bonk counter. <laughs> oh, no. How fitting. Okay. Oh, go ahead. All right. Uh, Kank, I live another day to face Kangaskhan again. Oh, you're all the way up at Giovanni. Man, I'm like, what am I doing? I'm, I'm not even out of Rock Tunnel yet. How much are you using the bike? Uh, Not a huge amount. Uh, ah. I, I pretty much use it on, like, the areas that I can control it in. <laughs> I, I'm quite often flipping between having the bike equipped and not... Just, I think uh, I better get more. Yeah. Ah, uh, Sparky, why are you always leaving things in Red Bar? Every single time. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Get the tea. Get out of here. I always love it in the uh, condominiums when the Nidoran and the Clefairy just path in front of you over and over and over. <laughs> I don't I don't know why you like that. It always just it adds that little bit of interest to every single run, you know? <laughs> uh in generation one, uh they can actually potentially block the doorway. Oh really? Yeah, it's happened to Steve and I a couple of times during sure. randomizers. Because <laughs> the randomizers added the T to make Saffron harder to get to. Uh, See, that would, the old lady would be something you would check. Gotcha. And then there were times, like, I think at one point Steve was stuck in for like 10 seconds. Holy, 10 seconds? That's, that's brutal, just sitting there waiting for them to move, eh? Yeah. Zekrom can learn fly? Out. Yes. Uh, he yeah. was freaking out? Yeah. <laughs> 
Of course it can fly. Haven't you seen the uh, the credits for Gen 5? Yeah. With him flying in the sunset? Well, even, uh, what's his name? Uh, evil dude that I just battled. N? Getsis? I don't know. One of them was flying around on his Reshiram. I think that was N. Yeah. Also, I, I'm just hitting optional trainers left, right, and center. It's awesome. The uh, guy right at the start of the rocket hideout, the spinner, um, that has like five level 19 Pokemon. Ouch. Yeah, tagged him. It's going good. It's going good. N is with legendary. What was the uh, the theory about N that he's actually a Zorark? Was that the uh, was that the theory? Uh, I remember that being an old fan theory from when I was younger. Apparently, because like in Black Two and White Two, for the player to find like where N's castle is buried, they have to follow a Zorark, and then when it enters N's castle, it's just N standing there, and the Zorark's nowhere to be seen. Interesting. I don't know. It I think it's just a for fun rumor. I don't think it's actually real. Mm -hmm. I think I'll get rid of Blame Wheel for Dragon Claw. <laughs> I just cannot hit ranges to save my life. <laughs> I think it's. I think that's from you suffering for not being the special attacker. Yeah. Exceptional's going to a higher level because he keeps running into trainers. Hey, it might pay off in the second round, I'm just saying. It might. <laughs> As you're uh, waiting like 10, 15 minutes for me to catch up. I don't think it'd be that bad. No, no. <laughs> uh, Egg, have you ever thought about the fact whether you're going to play post-game? Um, not in a long time. Ever since my Tauros video, uh, like almost a year ago actually coming up on that. Uh, ever since that first Tauros video that I pushed into round two, I have just been in love with it. Every video goes into round two. Oh, dig me out of here. Uh, coin case, I do not want. Uh, EVs, I want attack. Probably. How off? Oh, sorry. Oh, go get Shadow Ball how to replace Crunch. Ooh, Shadow Ball would be a good one, yes. Uh, how often what? Uh, how often do you get the rare candy on the water route? Uh, on 12? In between rounds, I usually grab it in my first playthroughs, just because, like, in, in my first playthroughs, and I, I'm doing it here, too. Like, I, I tend to collect absolutely everything. <laughs> what did I just... Did I just use an ether on my spark instead of my... Ah, oh, you idiot. Okay. <laughs> I'm not playing well. <laughs> I still have a cherry berry on, right? No. Oh, well. Eric is going to be fine. Instead of using uh, the ether on uh, Psychic, like I meant, to take on Erica, I used it on Spark, which was useless, so I used a PP up on, on Psychic instead. <laughs> Oh, and I'm out of power oh, points. Idea. Oh, man. It's all right. We still got her. Dragon Claw. Uh, uh, I want Crunch. Sorry. Do you struggle with uh, the group of six bikers on Cycling Road to skip them? The group of six bikers on Cycling Road to try and skip them. The Like when you first enter, there's all those bikers? Uh, I usually get tagged by one of the two. Of those two uh. initial ones. Uh, what egg move we starting with? Uh, we don't. <laughs> no egg moves in this one. Legendaries don't typically have egg moves. Egg needs to, to learn say, how to multitask? Wanna... No. <laughs> I was about to say, you might want to think about what you just said for a minute. <laughs> what did I just say? No, what that person said like about egg moves, because I, uh, I don't think you can have a baby rush around. I don't think so. I don't know. No. Bonking my way downtown. <laughs> Sparking fast, kicking bass, and I'm leg league bound. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Thank you, chat. <laughs> oh. If I somehow get copyright claimed in this stream, I'd be surprised. <laughs> oh, uh, the fact that I haven't been copyright claimed is fantastic. I just like I spout off all the time. Just like I'm, I'm hoping that it kind of like counts as satire enough that I can get away with it. I heard this story one time about this one guy on YouTube. He uh. He, he was, like, doing his own uh, mock singery of, like, some popular song, and he got copyright claimed for it. Oh, really? Yeah. That was really funny. 
like being such a good singer, the bots think you're stealing music. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. If only I had that talent. But I'll keep singing anyway. Ah, oh, another spinner. <laughs> I wonder how much time I lose in an average run to getting tagged by spinners. Also, yeah, some, somebody said that I have to learn how to multitask. It's not going to happen. I am super neurodivergent. Like, not going to happen. <laughs> I can, uh... Yeah, usually when I'm doing, like, second runs or runs that, like, are actually counting for something, it is dead silence. Like, anything that breaks my focus is no good. I just, I'm gone after that. Yeah, I agree. Um, is it pure silence, or do you, like, listen to some? Pure silence. Uh, I've got, there's a little cat fountain that kind of, like, has a little, like, waterfall, like, trickle noise that kind of just acts as nice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That is why I saved in front of the Marowak. Double crit bone meringue takes me from full to nine HP. Holy. The one in the tower? Yep. Yeah, that thing always scares me. That was bad. Exceptionally bad at multitasking? You don't know the start of it. Oh man, there's a reason I have lists upon lists upon lists. My brain cannot handle things for more than a few seconds. <laughs> When there's a lot of things going on. Coughing, get Dragon Clawed. Ghost Marowak is about as c good as Cool Trainer Warren. Which one is Cool Trainer Warren? He's that one trainer in Giovanni's gym that's harder than Giovanni himself. Ah. Honestly, you should consider just moving your intro to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the run, hey? I'm pretty sure I could rerun Magneton not get hidden power, start the run at that guy, and still post a worse time than my first run. <laughs> Why Ouch. did I save before Mr. Fuji? Maybe he's the surprise oak battle. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what axe you added all to this to this version, so you know I'm I'm just being careful, you know. <laughs> uh it should be mostly vanilla besides obviously what we're the Pokemon. It it is. I'm just making excuses to be uh, to be bad. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> Yeah, nothing like some nice, calming Poke Center music as you enter Sylphco. Yeah, I am playing this like just like one of my first runs where like I, I am collecting a lot of optional items. Rare candies, especially. We'll see. Uh, it's either going to pay off for Speedrunner. I, I don't know how much he's collecting, but uh, I'm being fairly oh. thorough. I am picking up every vitamin and silk. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see uh, how things go in the leagues, because that's uh, round one. Round one will be really interesting. I, I feel like that one's going to be really tight, and then uh, we'll see if my experience with round two kind of pays off, or if we're both just going to be, like, wiping over and over and over because earthquakes everywhere. Who knows? Shadow Ball 2, it's like 4,500 instead of 44,000 co coins, correct? Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, I think Shadow Ball was cheaper. Iron Tail was more expensive okay. than 4,000. Uh, I'm going to grab this protein. Uh, one piece of advice I would like to give about a Pokemon that starts with zero friendship. Uh, if you don't really care about vitamin efficiency, just use every vitamin you find. They give you a lot of friendship. How much is it? It's like, uh, I can't, uh, I can't recall. Plus, it's actually, uh, it's plus three friendship until you get to 200 friendship, then it's plus two. So okay. it's effectively the same amount of friendship as like 10 levels, I'd say. Or maybe, wow. like, I mean, eight levels sounds more appropriate. Mm -hmm. Still, like that's a, that's a significant amount. Oh, I can't even one shot Alakazam with crunch. That's brutal. Ouch. Oh, I should have gone for, ah, oh, you Muppet. Why am I going for Spark against Charizard instead of... And there's my first Omni Boost on the last turn of battle. <laughs> yeah, Rival 5 is not going to be easy. No. I don't know how I... I somehow got a really good range and I killed the Charizard when it was still in green health. <laughs> I, uh, I hit the Spark and left him in red bar, just like pretty much every other Pokemon on this entire run so far. 
Oh, now here's the eternal question. Do I want my Pecha Berry for Giovanni or for Koga? Life's biggest questions. <laughs> Ancient power, absolute guessing. perfect coverage? Maybe. Uh, you're guessing? I'm guessing, you, I'm guessing you got the one on the boat, the berry. Uh, I got all three berries on the boat, yes. And I'm poisoned. Okay. I was just going to say, uh, by the uh, hiker on the Nugget Bridge route with the elixir, there's a hidden Pecha Berry right near him. Mm. There's also a hidden Cherry Berry outside of Rock Tunnel entrance. And uh, there's a Chesto Berry right by, uh, you know that rare candy, like just before you enter Rock Tunnel? There's a Oops. hidden Chesto Berry right near it. Yeah. First reset to Giovanni, by the way. I haven't had a reset yet, though. I'll let you know when I do. I uh, entirely blame Poison Point from Nidori uh, Nidorino. And now I got Poison Point from Nidoqueen. Queen. I don't have anything that's not contact. Like... <laughs> Apparently, Dragon Claw is a contact move. I want a 20 HP to spare. That's, uh... Oh, you... F he got the fake out. Yep, that's another one. Okay, maybe that's I cool. should go for the Pecha. Uh, thanks for what? I was just saying to my chat, thanks for the luck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All those moves make contact. Yikes. Yeah. Ancient power, absolutely perfect coverage. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping that this... Uh... Oh, what the heck am I going to do here? Okay, so this is... Yeah, that's my best... That's my highest hitting move. Okay, crit on the Nidorino. That's nice. Come on. Crit the Nidoqueen. I don't want any more of your poison baloney. Of course, this time I have the Pecha Berry equipped and no poison point, so... <laughs> That's just typical, eh? The Psychic would have been nice here. It would have been. I was humming and hawing between Crunch and Psychic, but uh, I guess I made the wrong choice. Well, I just got my very first reset on Sabrina. Oh, there you uh, go. Uh, her Venomoth used Psybeam or whatever it was, and it oh. confused me. I hit myself four times in a row. <laughs> four. Yep, and sounds about right. There we go. Yeah, I'm just getting into Sabrina's gym myself. Hmm. Have you done Erica? I have, actually. I should have tallied that badge. Have you done Koga? I have not. No, I'm uh, doing the Sylph slash Saffron gauntlet, and then I'll ah. head down there after. I think you've caught up with me. Like We've effectively done the same things. What am I doing? Ancient power. Well, guys, I'm losing my lead. I better hurry. Oh, <laughs> Alakazam is scary. It is scary. Uh, where is the EQTM? It is after defeating Giovanni, uh, the eighth gym badge. It's not like in Gen 1 where you can just go pick it up. <laughs> Tombstoney. <laughs> Are you already a plane? No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'd be. I would be impressed. Uh yep. I got tagged by one of the bikers at the top of Cycling Road. It's always one. Always one. Oh. Yeah. I try and. What I try and do is I try and pause buffer them until the. The bikers are all looking away because they can only see directly in front of them. Yeah. They can't see a tile away. So I just try my best to move forward and quickly go down. Although yeah. it has failed at times. Mm hmm. It's hard. It is. Especially at four times game speed. Uh, somebody made a comment that, like, my commentary was awesome, but my gameplay left something to be desired. And it's like, I'm sorry, four times speed is hard. <laughs> Do I want Sunny Day? Eh, I'll pick it up. Wait a minute, do I? Oh, I do get Rain Dance, excuse me. Curious if you're thinking of Rain Dance Thunder. I like it as an option, but without having water coverage, it's like, it, it just, it feels a little more limiting than just like a Stab Thunderbolt would. Yeah. What a dicky comment. Who? <laughs> Me? I don't know why I'm healing here. I accidentally... Uh, uh, Gym Leader Matt just said somebody read a dicky comment and I need to 
catch up on chat. See, see if it's me or somebody else that's, you know, doing that. Hey, uh, I picked up a Carbos. I was trying to see if I can use it. I have 99 speed EVs, so I can <laughs> use it for one EV. I think that's worth it. For, uh, what is it, 4,900 to sell or one EV? What are you doing? Uh, I need my game hook because I got to see my values. There we go. Get... People have told me uh. I need to find a spot on my overlay for money. I just don't know where I would put it. Hmm. I guess I could put it next to my Versus Seeker step counter. I mean, that space isn't used for anything. It's true. Yeah, I guess then it's again, just... Yeah, just finding a nice again, empty spot. Yeah, it involves me having to actually code it in, and that's too... I'm lazy. <laughs> I'd rather work on better things. Right. And that's that's where I've gotten been so much lately, too, is it's just like I could work on, like, finessing all the back-end coding and this and that, but, like... I'd also rather just have content being produced for everybody to enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Finally got Thunderbolt, so maybe I got a useful stab move. Yeah. Unless you're trying to help Egg uh, get his overlay working with the back ports. <laughs> but, uh, kind of, it was definitely a task. That was a bit of fun, yeah. Yeah. Oh, muck. He was working with code I have not seen in over a year. If it ain't broke, <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm losing to Koga. Yep. Poison. Always the poison. Went for uh, physical moves against Muck. Should have just gone for the Thunderbolt. Blue Ash, welcome. Glad you could make it. Uh, I think you made the comment. Uh, someone made the comment. Oh, about my gameplay? Yeah. Wow, it is what it is, right? It's the internet. You hey, are Matt, never... Yeah, go I ahead. was just going to say, I, I just tested trying to learn Fire Blast. Reshiram can learn it. I think you forgot to put them on the moveset. I will have to check what you sent me in um, in Discord, because I'm pretty sure I got what uh, what you sent me correct. I, I could be wrong. I could have been looking at the wrong moveset, of yeah. course. We'll take a look at it. Yeah. Also, sorry, Egg, rooting for Reshiram. That's fine. Once we finish these first runs, you can go back to rooting, to me, uh, rooting for me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, after this one, we get to switch. And then I get to be two-shotting everything. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, I always hate this part. Turn, and there we go. Yay! Clean path down to Cinnabar. No spinners. I'm going to save before these bikers on three islands, because I remember one of their... Uh, Weezings has self-destruct. Uh, yep. And it has almost killed me before. I've been poisoned, self-destructed, accuracied. Those guys are mean. Yeah. I mean, guys, it would be easy to code in, but you gotta remember, I have to remember to do it. <laughs> I can't hold things short-term. I have one person. I have one person in my chat, one of my chat mods. During second playthroughs, he just tells me everything I need to remind myself of. <laughs> like, hey, do Koga first. Remember the boulder candy. Don't forget to candy to level 30. That's why I do everything in pitch silence, because I couldn't remember any of that if I if I had any distractions. Well, if I was doing it in pitch silence, I would have had to write it down on a notepad. Or something. I also have a notepad right next to me right now. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. It's crazy how, like, doing these runs and the challenges and everything, like, just kind of rewrites how you run the game over time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Axu, you, you're that guy, I know. No physical special split sucks for Zekrom? Yes, it definitely does. It's fine, yeah, it's worth Yeah, it's worse off for Zekrom. It really makes no difference for Reshiram, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you stay pretty... Pretty beefy it kind of benefits time. Reshiram because uh, I think Reshiram's best special dragon move by level up is Dragon Breath, but Zekrom gets Dragon Claw, which is better. Mm -hmm. So I guess Reshiram actually benefits from the no split. If that makes any sense. Kind of makes sense. I mean, if you look at it like relative to Zekrom kind of thing, yeah. All there right. Is 
there is one item I just picked up in the berry forest. I'm curious if you ever get it. You know there's a max elixir that's past a bit of water. Do you ever get that? I do not. The Sevi Islands is something that I need to uh, get a little bit more familiar with with my item locations. I pretty much know the rare candies and not much else. Yeah, I, there's like a little pond of water right before you get to Lost Dell. You just surf across it, cut down four trees, and you get a max elixir. Okay. I figure it may help for round two, because I think round two, you should just save them for like skipping centers or just having extra of those things for the round two league. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, especially if uh, you hit a spot where it's like, well, this isn't happening. Time to leave and grind, but oh, wait, I had to use elixirs in order to survive this far, and yeah. <laughs> Spirals quick. All right, my turn for the bikers. How are we doing on time, by the way? 42 and a half minutes in. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Not bad I at think, all. Uh, I think with my normal uh, uh, rules and three times speed, I think my fastest fire red backport was Porygon Z. I think my second run was 49 minutes. Holy. That's uh, a well, fast you want to know what? Uh, the thing, uh, the thing in Gen 4 gets a nasty plot at level 1, so for the backport we gave it Tail Glow, and uh, I was just able to use w one Tail Glow and sweep with Psychic or Thunderbolt. Yep, yep. It was insane. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's such a really good move, raising special attack by two stages, Tail Glow, but I think it's only on those, like, Hoenn bugs, the little yeah. fireflies. What are they, Apparently, uh... I also... Volbeat and Illumise? Il Illumise? Those... I think it's Volbeat. I always thought it was Illumise, but that might be wrong. I don't know. Potato, potato. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> yep. I actually uh... learned while looking up Tail Glow. Apparently, I think it was either Gen 4 or Gen 5. They changed it, so it's a plus three to your special attack. Ooh, that's massive. Volbeat and only... Manaphy only. Okay. Yeah, it's so powerful, but almost no one gets it. Is Manaphy in Gen 3? It's a uh, Sinnoh. Oh. Uh... So in Gen 3, it was a unique move to just those Firefly bugs. Yeah. Such a shame. Like, their stats aren't even that good. <laughs> hey, maybe you should do a run with them, huh? <laughs> oh, I've been thinking about it. They they seem like prime candidates for one of those double runs that I uh, experimented with back in December. And, oh, gosh, another thing. Just add it to the list of things that I want to do. <laughs> Only Volby gets it. Oh, never mind then. Uh, yeah, uh, JP was just saying that uh, Il, you, Mise, Mana, Mana, Mana uh, only gets growth. All right. I just realized I never got psychic. <laughs> yeah, you got uh, extra sensory, I believe, as the learn up or level up move. Yeah, that's why I uh, forgot it. Yeah. Keep telling you to do it, Egg. Gen three bugs. Uh, I've run a lot of Gen three bugs relative to other uh, types. I really need to get some ground and rock and steel things like that going. Another poison point. Gotta love it. You mean you want to do more runs with steel types? I want to, not necessarily that I want to do more runs with them specifically, it's more that I just want to, like, just broaden the Pokemon that I play with, you know? I, yeah, uh, that I, makes sense. Uh, yeah, like, I've, I've stuck so much to a lot of the same types that it just, uh, it'd be nice to add a bit of variety, you know? But it's always, they're always slow growth rate and slow Pokemon, and it just scares me. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these backports I've been doing are just slow level ups. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for my umpteenth poison point from these Nidos, but I think I'm good. Oof! If I got poison point, I don't think I would have made it through this battle. Those earthquakes hurt. You're definitely going to have an easier time with Rival 6. I've had two resets on them. Oof. I have... Just because, uh... Well, I do get electric coverage. I probably should have taught Shockwave. Yeah, I just uh, just cleaned up the gym challenge, so I'm healing and heading west. I was thinking about uh, the leagues and which one of us might uh, have the advantage there, and I'm thinking maybe I do, at least uh, initially. Just because I have Thunderbolts, like oh. Stab Thunderbolt, instead of, well, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> oh. 
I'm so determined to keep ancient power. As a physical attacker, I just like, I have to keep it. <laughs> Let's rearrange this move set a little bit. That looks better. Oh, the music stopped. Were you there the day the music died? Second Omni Boost of the run. Well, I've given myself eruption. Ooh. Did I just get two Omni Boosts? In two turns that didn't matter? Seems like that's how it would work. Ah, <laughs> oh, and two encounters in the grass that I always risk with no repel. You did? Oh man, brutal. Always the Omni Boosts. You'd always get them when you don't want them. Or, you know, when you don't need them. Also, JP, I totally forgot to stop at that area between um, Saffron and Lavender to pick up those extra berries. This uh, feels like a prime run for picking those up. Also, I didn't do any of my vitamin work. I just got max friendship. I'm not even going to look at mine. I don't even know if I want to teach... Um, what's it called? Return? Yes, that one. Thank you. <laughs> Boulder puzzle movement. I was a little bit zoned in. Mouth hanging open just a little bit. Oh, now you're ahead of me. Oh, am I? Yep. I had three resets at Rival 6. Oof. I, I... used two of my rare candies to level 48 Ooh. in order to win. I am low enough in Victory Road that my repels are not fully effective. So you being at level 48 might end up saving you some time. I just don't want to use the rare candy right now. I just it feels icky to use a rare candy. Uh, I mean, it's low XP group. Plus, I don't know if I'll need to use any for Lorelei anyway. And apparently your moveset image you gave me uh, was a little bit wrong. I Reshram does not learn Shockwave. Oh, man. You might have mixed you might have mixed up some of their movesets a bit. My bad. This all happened, yeah, a, yeah, like, this all happened, like, including getting everything else for the week ready. This, like, all the preparation for this run kind of came together, I'd say, in the last, like, hour before actually starting. So, yeah. ap apologies for any uh, bits of sloppiness. I'm not, yeah, I'm not holding it. I mean, I didn't have moveset, I didn't have my own movesets ready for the stream. <laughs> I had to use his. I tried, I tried. Have you ever done training in Victory Road on these cool trainers? Um, depends on the Pokemon. I usually get into the leagues first just to see how things go. And uh, if I have to train, then I'll pop out. And I, I try to, if I'm training in Victory Road, I try to like just do a big loop and clear as many of them at once as I can. That's an interesting idea. Ooh, Lorelai's not going to go well. I think it's time for some levels. Oh, you're going to, you might actually have the harder Lorelai just because you're actually going to be weak to ice. Yes, I am. <laughs> it did hurt. I figured, you'd have the, I figured you were going to have the easier time because of electric typing, but I just I just forgot about that part. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect music to come on, too. The Game Corner theme just came on. <laughs> um, John, uh, no, you cannot use the Versus Secret Victory Road. I really wish you could. Uh, unfortunately. Dude, this Victory Road would be the best training spot in the whole game if you could do that. <laughs> I guess they knew. They must have. Yeah, when I was... Uh, oh, what did I do Dragon Claw for? Um, when I was first learning the game, I, I definitely spent a lot of time doing circles in Victory Road, trying to like figure out optimal paths. And, oh, can I use the Vers Versus Seeker? Nope, nope, nope. <clears throat> Come on, critical on Lapras. Otherwise, I'm leaving and I'm going to go... Oh my gosh, I got the critical on Lapras. Let's go. What am I trying to learn? Volt Tackle. Oh, that is recoil, though. Mm, I'm doing it. That's That was uh, Axie's replacement for Fusion Bolt. Mm -hmm. Let's go for the Ancient Power. Nice. Okay, Cloister left. Volt Tackle. Please don't kill myself. Ooh! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Volt Tackle's scary. <laughs> This is why I don't go with... That was... Oh, man. Um, I knocked myself down to 8 HP on the last turn of battle. That was scary. <laughs> Shh. 
Oh no, spikes, whatever shall I do? Uh-oh, don't switch out. It's risky <laughs> business. Oh, Onyx. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well. Yeah, I think, uh, oh. even though I kind of got through Bruno, or uh, uh, Lorelei, sorry, I might still have to leave because Bruno's speed drop with Rock Tomb is kind of gross. Yeah. Yeah, I might just need a couple of levels. I'm so torn on whether I should um, rare candy this or if I should leave to train. It's definitely an interesting question, especially with our slow XP group. Yeah, I'm leaving to train. I'm so worried about round two. I'm speaking of that little loop in uh, Victory Road, I'm going to go do it. Just don't get hit. Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> I could That's fish for the rock to miss, but like I, if we're struggling this much this early in the league, eh. substrats. Ah, uh, that's something we didn't discuss. Speedrunner or speed. Uh, I'm uh, either way works. Uh, I was, I'm, I'm probably gonna say that for round two. I think it's more useful in round two. Agreed, especially with leftovers. Yeah. Plus, uh, it's a tutor move. If you teach it now, you have to hold on to it. And it just constrains your move set. Mm hmm. I might be regretting teaching Volt Tackle. I guess you might have to go purchase Thunderbolt later. I actually might, because... Yeah, I almost reset against a trainer in Victory Road because Vol I'm taking so much recoil damage. And with no leftovers it... to heal it back, it's just completely taken me apart. I think it has the same recoil damage as Double Edge does. Uh, Volt Tackle does? Is it 50? Uh, I th think? Brutal. Wait a minute! Mm, no, I want All right. the... I am gonna have to leave and do training too. I don't want to use my candies. I just need 53. I don't know what I need, so I'm just training a bit. Hoping. Um, I have Brick Break, which is physical, and I am physical. I just don't know what to get rid of. Maybe Crunch? No, Crunch is so nice. I don't want to get rid okay. of anything. Axie says it's 33% recoil. 33%? That's still pretty, like, impactful. It is. Oh, I'm just like, I'm making, I'm like stopping and taking seconds to like think and that is uh definitely costing me time <laughs> i mean to be fair we're both in the same spot right now it's true it's true we're both training for levels there's this one trainer victory road he's like all water types his blast toys is only water move his water gun yeah <laughs> no don't face her i know how you feel about that one jp <laughs> AP one shot the Chansey, we're fine. <laughs> that trainer is quite awful to face, especially in Gen 1. Yeah. If, like, you're not prepared to deal with a special tank. No. Oh, I've, I've definitely uh, accidentally uh, been caught by her once or twice, just accidentally going a little bit too high with my movement. And, uh, yeah, she's been a reset before. It's always like, oh, that is just a heartbreaking reset when you get that one. I should also... Oh, I just, I don't know what to do with my vitamins. Like, that's something I've been... I, I haven't done anything with my vitamins yet. And the problem is, is that I don't know whether to special attack or physical attack. Because, obviously, I'm a better special... Or, physical attacker. But I have much better special coverage. I... I think I just used every vitamin Sylph just at once. Just to raise my friendship better. But yeah. I haven't even taught return yet. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. Just gonna buy some max repels while I'm here. There we got crunch. Ooh. <sighs> Having some pee pee problems. Please don't get myself killed here. If I get myself killed here, I'm gonna be so upset. Just because I'm like pushing and I'm not, I don't have any power points or anything. Like, I'm just, yeah, not smart. 
I can't use Volt Tackle because it's just going to kill me because I'm so low on health. <laughs> Scary Have faces. Have you ever used terrible. Volt Tackle in a run before? Never. Nope. I just died to a Charizard. Um. Oh, yeah. Got the crit on the Lapras. That puts me back to the Chansey Trainer. <sighs> and again, I'll see how Bruno goes. I'm kind of worried about him, too. Because I'm actually weak to the thing. I don't even know if Substitute can help with Rock Tomb. Um, it might not, yeah. You might be fishing for a miss. Unless you get, like... Probably. Oh, right, what am I doing? Unless you get enough, uh defense just to happen to survive with like you know the substitute alive with like a fraction of its health <clears throat> i i one shot the onyx and then the hitmonchan came out and and the machamp both of them just for some reason did not use rock tomb i think huh. that's just super lucky that is because i really expected them to use it mm -hmm. that's that's what was ruining my attempts when i was there it was just over and over um getting rock tombed and then taking too much damage throughout the rest of the fight you made it! Hello, Maria! What did I miss? Ah, some stuff and things. Just uh, playing through with Speedrunner. We've made our way to the leagues. We're both kind of stuck in the early leagues, and I'm spending a lot of time saving because I am terrified of the Victory Road Trainers now. Speed, you should go tell him about Volt Tackle on the Chansey. Yeah, I highly recommend you do that. Go do it. Volt tackle on happens. the on the Chansey? That I can't I can't see anything wrong happening with that in generation three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die. Oh, Volt Tackle, please don't kill myself. I killed myself again! Ugh. On Lorelei? No, I'm just training in Victory Road. <laughs> and I keep knocking myself out because friggin' Volt Tackle. I just, I, this, I never use recoil moves, and this is exactly why, like, I might yeah. actually leave and go to Celadon just to blow all of my money to pick up not this move, pick up a uh, Thunderbolt, because this is disgusting. <laughs> hey, Axu, I think you broke Egg. I think you scrambled his brain. I want Reshiram. I want Eruption. Recoil damage is BS. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to teach it. I didn't. I was just like, no, let's be cool. Because I was just playing with a recoil move in another game. Um, and it was working very well. Because I had a Shell Bell equipped. But with no recovery with the recoil damage, it eats me alive. I don't even have enough money for Thunderbolt. Okay, let's go over to the department store. Speedrunner, this is why you're winning. <laughs> Yeah, this is honest. That's uh, that's one thing I don't like about trying to buy a game corner TM. If you need to sell something, the march is so far away. Yeah. Um, what do I add? Uh, do I want calciums? I'm taking the calciums. Special coverage is just too valuable. Make sure you can buy Thunderbolt. Oh, I didn't buy any calciums. I'm just keeping them to use. Oh. I still don't have enough uh, money. Oh, what am I doing? This is like poor level play from me. Oh, I didn't sell my TMs. That's why I have no money. Come uh, John, recoil moves are generally useful if either A, you have a way to heal yourself, or B, you only use them to deliver final blows. Because if you use it to deliver the final blow, the recoil damage is very little. Dude. There we go. Okay. Lance was actually kind of a challenge, mainly because of his Aerodactyl. Just I'll... kept using Rock Slot. It kept using air... Ancient Power. I'll get back into the league eventually. <laughs> oh, I so want to try to go for 53, but I'm just so over grinding right now. I'm just going to go for it, see what happens. It'll be fine. I'm teaching Thunderbolt back. This, like, going for, going for Volt Tackle probably cost me this run. Or this race, I guess. Yeah, maybe. I just wasted a lot of time to a Volt Tackle death, going back to Celadon, etc., etc. I'm honestly not surprised, Axu. Uh, when we did the Gen 1 backcourt, Reshiram really struggled with Lance. 
Give me my Omni Boost. Well, the good news, at level 52, Lorelei was much easier. So that takes me to 53, going into Bruno. Let's hope that made a difference. Uh, where's my healing items? I'm definitely having problems with Gyarados. Oh, I cannot wait to get to Gyarados. That is the one thing I will not have a problem with. <laughs> yeah. Please one-shot. Yes! Ah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Stupid it's Onyx. All it's all because uh, he sends out his Rhydon second and it lands a scary face. Yeah. Of course, Hitmonchan comes out, Rock Tomb, and then a critical Sky Uppercut. So I'm probably not winning this one either. Cross I top. think I have to just bank on a scary face miss. It's my only way to win. That's brutal. There we go. I'm tempted to tie into my rare candies. Uh, have you tied into yours at all? Uh, I think I've only used so far throughout the run just two. That's not bad. <sighs> Hitmonchan. And, like, Hitmonchan's just gonna rock to me. Unless I crit! Beautiful. Alright. And I crit Hitmon Lee as well. Do I have a TM that could help? Uh... Oh, that was close, Sunny Bruno. Day might help. Sunny Day might help with Gyarados. Uh, you know what? Yeah, get rid of Slash. I don't need it. You still have Slash. I'm saving Return. I never ended up using it. I haven't had normal coverage in... I don't even know. <laughs> Thunderbolt. Arbok. I'm so surprised I didn't get poisoned, though. Slash for the Chansey? Yeah, nothing else. <laughs> that one Chansey oh in Victory Road. Oh, come on. Don't put me in a nightmare. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Shh. Dead. How many resets are you at? 15. Yeah, I'm at 11. <laughs> oh, I don't want more levels against Agatha. I'm really trying to avoid my rare candies. I'm so scared for round two. Oh, I'm just... Do we get any useful moves for round two? Uh, besides Body Slam, I don't really see any. No, we don't. <laughs> we are relying pretty much on raw strength. Zekrom is in a nightmare right now. Both stabs are special. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm finally up to Lance. Full restore. Save. I got five PP. That's a strong enough PP for me. I kind of wish I had picked up rest on the SSN. It'd be kind of useful right now. I had to grab rest. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't actually for this battle. It was for round two. Ooh, Lance is going to need some rare candies. I, I see I need that to use now. Candies on the champion. I don't have any other choice. I'm gonna put one for Lance. Uh, round run Bruno might be the hardest member for Zekrom. Let's hope not. Well, let's hope so actually, because uh, that was promising that last battle. Goes for outrage. Oh, so much damage. As long as Aerodactyl doesn't one shot me now, I should be fine. Or take me out from my remaining health, I guess I should say. Hopefully he goes for scary face. Ancient power. That works. If this was round two, I would have got my face earthquake there, but we are good to go. Are you serious, man? Champion woes. Uh, I was trying to use... I was trying to two-shot the Gyarados with a Sunny Day Eruption. The Ooh. first one did more than half, but then the second one left it at 1 HP. <laughs> got such a terrible roll. Like, I can't even believe it got that low. Hey, Speed. Yeah? I just one-shot Gyarados. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> oh, hey, Scott. This is definitely fun. Oh. Uh, I should not have gone for Ancient Power there. That was a little bit rough. Oh, Executor, please! 
Is it time for a Chesto Berry? No, I'm still alive! I'm still alive! Come I on! I need to use all my candies. <laughs> I think Rush Ram just has to. I have no choice. Nothing at all, eh? Yeah. <clears throat> I need to get to a level where I can consistently one-shot the Rhydon and two-shot the Gyarados. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Gyarados is always so nasty in these. Rock to At level 65, a sunny day boosted stab eruption can one-shot. Oh, I didn't want to go for Thunderbolt there. Oh my gosh. I should have a Chesto. Yeah, Egg Bomb. All right. Looks like I might have a chance. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on. Dude. Dude. Why does the <laughs> champion like to use five full restores in the same Pokemon? Oh, gosh, I know. <laughs> it's, like, it's almost there. It's almost there. Full restore, come on! <laughs> All right, round one, champ is done. Nice. I'm, uh... I did have... I did have to use almost all my rare candies, so that might bite me in the butt later. Mm -hmm. I'm still fighting away myself. Alakazam is just a bit much right now. I'm taking too much damage. I might have to use some rare candies myself. I'm still at only 57 I just leveled up to. Oh. Miss! So, oh. when we, so when we get to the credits, do we just, after we save, can we just reset and do round two immediately? I'd say so, yep. Okay. I would say that's fair. Yeah, I don't. I don't recall how many rare candies are in the post game. Um, like zero essentially. N nothing that's not accessible uh, with round one, except for like the island five one in like the shimmery cave place. I yeah, I can't remember. Zam is kicking my butt. Zam is kicking my butt. Come on, don't psychic me again. 66 oh, health. I'm to do round two stuff. Chesto Berry. Yes, Chesto saving. Come on. Charizard, please don't kill me. Outspeed. No. No. Oh, come on. Yes. Charizard took me to one hit point with a fire blast. I held on. Oh. Got him taken care of. Oh, way to go, Good dude. Job. I'm surprised we both struggled in the league. That like, was wild. These are legendaries, man. We shouldn't be struggling. <laughs> the good news is, is that I do still have all my rare candies. Yeah. All right. Immediately into round two. Whew. All right. That was intense. Holy. Uh, at least we'll have leftovers this time, which will really help. True, very true. That's like always one of my first stops before uh, when I'm going after round two is to like, okay, let's go get the leftovers now. I just forgot to get them. I'll need to get them later. I mean, it's not like I need them on these islands. I'm no. pretty. Why does this rocket grunt have a level 35 Rattata? <laughs> We're uh, taking some silver, some gold, silver, crystal uh, level curve advice on this one, eh? Yep. Go. Oh, I love this rocket music. I hope it's coming through uh, for my stream. I hope it's coming through enough that you can actually hear it. Be sure to give this live stream a like. Yes, thank you, AMW, for reminding me. Both Speedrunners Chat and my own. If you are enjoying the run race thing, exceptional speed insanity thing that we're doing today be sure to like the run and leave a comment it really helps us with our channels thank you very much all right just got the ruby rare footage of egg doing the island yeah Beep -beep -beep. So good. Uh huh? Oh, just the music. I got the cycling music playing right now. <laughs> Whoops. Don't want to item finder in the middle of the water. Go away. Turn. Hate that guy. The, uh... Guy, the spinner on the way to Mount Ember. 
Uh, he's just like the first guy that's like a straight, as you, as you take your straight shot upwards, he's the first guy you kind of encounter, and he always spins into me, all the time, it's like... Uh, that camper guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't know why, like, as a kid, like, he's the one spinner that was so hard for me to avoid, like, yeah. I would try and just wait and time it, because I didn't know about any bag tricks, and I just kept hitting him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, I hit him. I just accepted his fate. Like, I just, I hit the up button, and if fate wants me to encounter him in this run, so be it. Because it's just, at four times speed, it's happening too fast. Like, yeah. probably not optimal, but, no, it's definitely not optimal. I know that, but. So there's only one rare candy in the Lost Cave in the post game. Uh, does any, do you know if Cerulean Cave has any candies in it? I, I know it does, the Park Gold and Soul Silver, there's one. I don't believe so, no. If anyone wants to go verify, I would appreciate that. I'm pretty sure there's the... Oops. 13 that are kind of available uh, just in the like in round one, including the uh, Island 2 rare candy. And then the 14th is in that Island 5 shimmering something or another, yeah. Mirror Cave Lost, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it's Meowth's. There isn't. Thank you, JP. Oh, dang. So, yeah, I'm s stuck with what candies I have. Yeah. That's why, like, I was so worried and so conservative. Like, I'm behind right now, but I feel like I'm in a better position. Because I should check in a second, actually. Once my repel runs out. There it is. I have 12 right now. Uh, waterfall to Lapras. Uh, there is a third option for rare candies farming, but it is long. Yeah, not uh, probably not race viable, eh? Or solo run in general viable. Uh, am I for oh, right. I have to cut this wall. I have to cut this door. Right? Yes, yeah. All right, let's see if I can remember the order. I think it's up, uh, up left, down. right, down. Oh, I already got that wrong. <laughs> Up, left, right. Yeah, Thanks. I believe I believe so. Yep. Yeah, Scott, I already got the one at Cape Brink, so I think the one lost. I think that's gonna take too long to get to. I don't know how to get to it, so I'm just gonna pretend it doesn't exist. Which one? The one in Lost Cave. Oh, yeah, I'm completely unfamiliar with it myself. I know it exists. That's the end of it. Level 48, Rattata. Now he means business. Oh, yeah. Now, what would you rather have? A level 13 Pidgeotto like Faulkner or a level 48 Rattata like that guy? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> You know, it's kind of interesting how uh, Fire and Leaf Green are the very faithful remakes of the original Red and Blue. You don't see any female Rocket Grunts till the post game. It's true, actually. Because Gen 1 had no female Rocket Grunts. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, though, because in the Round 1 Pokemon League, the genders of the uh, opposing Pokemon seem to be, like, relatively well ratioed. But in Round 2, they're all male. 100% male in the Round 2 League. I remember in round one, I think most, I think all of the Elite Four members match, except I think Agathas are all male for some reason. Yeah. It does make planning a tracked usage way easier. Like, if you struggle with the champion, just it's, make your Pokemon a female if you can. It's true, yeah. Uh, JP is saying, on the cave in Island 5 has a lost girl in it. Find her, beat in a battle, and then talk to her in a house on Island Fall. She will give you instructions, you follow them, and then she rewards you with a random item. Holy. Nope. Not solo run viable, I'd say. Axew says, Rare Candy and Lost Cave. East, North, South, South, East, West, Southwest. Perfectly clear. I know exactly where that is now. Hmm. <laughs> you know, since I used I'll pretty much all of them, I probably should go get it. Because I might need it. We'll see, we'll see. I am so getting copyright claimed for this. <laughs> hey, that's Pokemon music. 
Uh, Game Freak, yeah. I, I find they are uh, like when they, I when I first made the channel, I did a ton of research into it. And they, they seem as long as you're not like profiting from it, they seem to be pretty OK as long as you're like using it in a relevant setting. Yeah, you, I mean, I have <laughs> had streams, plenty of streams with the Pokemon music during times where I would just not talk. The bots would detect it and then claim it. Oh, interesting. So, like, okay. Edited videos like your voice is always like obscuring it. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh, please fly. <laughs> All right, I think Lost Cave is up here. I know there's an island where some guy gives you a Togepi egg. I know that. Ah, I did not. I did not know that. Faulkner sucks. He's so bad. I don't know. Oh, Faulkner can probably yeah. cause some problems. I, I just fought a an artist by that person's house. She had a Smeargle, and the Smeargle had Dive, Fly, and some other moves. Oh, this one has Dynamic Punch, Dizzy Punch, Focus Punch, and Mega Punch. That's a really cool Smeargle. Also, yes, this is why I save in front of these two Rocket Admins. They aren't the most dangerous, but they can be pain if Muck poisons you and evasions you forever. Yeah. I kind of wish those artists were like, in the main game, because it might be interesting, like, something might struggle against that Smeargle. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna wipe a second time to this lady. Yep. Alright, starting in this... Alright, let me see if I can read it. Oh, dang it, I didn't know this guy was a trainer. Uh, I don't have enough power points. <laughs> That's what happened to me in Victory Road. <laughs> no! no like, like, I was just standing there, and he just walked into me. Oh, man. Well, I guess on the bright side, I only have four sunny days. <laughs> oh, no. I think this graveler's going to kill me. Oh, no. Yeah. Who did, I am who did I, I, I reset to? Who who did I reset to? It was um, Charmeleon in Victory Road I reset to <laughs> because I was just well, so banged up. I didn't, save. I didn't save because I didn't expect this random guy to just walk into me. I was reading the chat trying to read the instructions. You remember... Uh, I can't remember if it was earlier today or last night when I told you that if one of us, or if I, if I, if I were going to lose, it would be because of exactly what just happened to you. <laughs> like, I reset because I was paying attention somewhere else, and it just cost all of the time I had left. I mean, I knew my power points were low, and I probably should have healed at the center, but I'm like, eh, I'll be fine. Yeah. But no, that's exactly what happened to me. <laughs> it's like, nope, nope, right, wrong, I'm wrong call. Uh, I'm going to have to scroll up. Starting in this room, east, north, s south, south, east, west, south. Wait, I think I messed this up. I might be about to make a mistake, but I don't want to cost myself a PP restoring item. So I'm going to try this battle with three ancient powers and six crunches. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's try that again. East. Or Omniboost town. turn one. We're fine. <laughs> mm, delicious. Houndoom looks bad in Gen 3. I don't know. I kind of like its sprite. It looks pretty cool. I like Houndoom. Just in general. I never had any problems with its sprite in Gen 3. Go to Island 6 to get the Lepa Berry. That was exactly what I was trying to avoid, was leaving to get some PP restoring items. Alright. I'm clearly not mixed east and alright. Oh no, this is east. That is north. south. South. East. It's even more confusing oh, in it. French if that helps. East. West. South. West. Is there anything I'm else I want? No. West. I am really mixing this up. <laughs> I am so bad. East. North. South. South. East. West. There we go. <clears throat> West. Got it. It's easy just behind the Poké Center? Ah, uh, maybe. I'm, I'm actually, uh, no, I, I do need to go back out and I'm a little bit short on PP restoring items, so I am going to run back to Sylph to grab a couple real quick. I keep mixing up East and West. Yeah. <laughs> I think instead of going East, I went Weast. Weast. <laughs> Yeah, like I was saying, it's uh, it's even more fun in French because you have Est and West. Oh, wait. Well, I finished 
Finish the Sevi Island stuff. Yay! I, how far am I from a level up? 10,000. Uh, Weast. <laughs> uh, that's a good question. How close am I to a level up? Uh, pretty close. Mm, I'm going to run out. I'm going to run out. Beat All up right. one trainer. I think I'm going to go get substitute. I'm going to hold off. Oh, I can't do anything with my... <laughs> I don't think Eruption was that useful for the league. Really? Uh, I don't know. I'm just really thinking of what to keep. I don't know. Maybe Eruption and Dragon Claw is enough? I don't think Psychic's going to be that needed. As long uh, as you're at I full don't... health, I, I I see Eruption being so good, but like you kind of have to have the HP to back it yeah. up, right? Yes, Andy, that was the reference. <laughs> Andy just responded, that says West Patrick. <laughs> That's exactly what I was referencing. Congratulations, you made me hate French even more. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think just Eruption and Dragon Claw will be enough. You're so I open. Get stabbed from those. I get stabbed from those anyway. Is there anything I want? Oh, Leftovers. Are you, get those. Yeah, I was going to say, are you about to step in? Because I am about to. I just did a touch of extra training just to make sure I'm topped up. Or, like, you know, if I'm using rare candies, they can be as efficacious as pro possible. Yep. Let's jump in. Lorelei, round two. I'll be in there in about a minute. I like it. Keeping things close. Ooh. Even though I, Sorry. <laughs> even though it took me, like four minutes just to get that one rare candy because I keep going west instead of east. I had a very great opening against Dugong and then I missed like eight moves in a row. <laughs> I'm still alive, but <laughs> scary. No Omni boosts. Unfortunate. So getting going through the Seven Islands round two only took like 15 minutes. Yeah, it's super quick. Generally. Is Speedy saying Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball? What about Dragon Ball? Are you talking about Dragon Ball? Are we talking about Dragon Ball? <laughs> you keep saying it over and over again. <laughs> Somebody in JP just asked her if, if you're saying Dragon Ball. I'm not sure what, uh, in reference I to what. I've never seen anything Dragon Ball. Oh, really? Mm, yep. I love it. That was like another pivotal one to be growing up with for me. You hear it too? <laughs> uh, what am I doing against Piloswine? I did not think that through. Ooh, earthquake, bad. I'm gonna, what, actually, since I resetted, how much ethers do I have? Uh, one max, one elixir, two max elixir. That should be enough. I'm using some rare candies. 65, see what happens. I shouldn't have saved there. Oh, whenever he says Dragon Claw, you hear him seem Dragon Ball. It might be because I have him, like, absolutely cranked in every metric of volume. It might be distorting things. Dragon, Dragon, Rock. Throw rocks at the dragon. Th no, wait. I throw rocks from the dragon? By the dragon. Of the dragon. You um, know what I kind of like? What's uh, that? The leftovers is, if you think about it, the leftovers is making eruption more powerful each turn. It is. Oh, there's my omni yeah, boost. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's. Yeah, it does less damage if you have less HP, so it, it kind of makes it stronger every turn with leftovers. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm surviving round round two, Lorelei, barely because of an omni boost. That's why I Dude, kept ancient rough. power. Eruption is so good with Sunny Day. Oh, my God. Yeah. And that's why I was kind of like, you don't think Eruption's good for you? Like, I don't know, man. Like, that's 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 a lot of power with no recoil. Yeah, I ended up deleting Psychic because I remembered one Pokemon, Steelix. Um, it's funny you should mention Steelix because I just opened up a battle against a Steelix and I have absolutely nothing to deal with him. <laughs> What Oops. is all right? Is Bruno playing smart? I'm trying to use substitute, getting a rock tomb, but he keeps spamming earthquake. I think that um, reset. His AI was smart for once. Yeah, he'll just randomly do that. I find sometimes. 
Uh, Agatha coming up. I want to keep that. I do not have the team for Dragon Claw. What else do I have for TMs? Ooh, I want Dragon Claw for Lance. Maybe Ancient Power. Maybe it's time for Ancient Power to finally go. I'm going to regret this. <laughs> I'm going to regret this. Yeah. It's fine. If I had come into this deleting substitute over eruption, like, uh, I would pretty much cry. Yeah. That's like about how I'm starting to feel. I don't know what to do with uh, Bruno here. Rock to miss. That's beautiful. Thank you. I have to use an ether after every battle for eruption. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess it's got like five PP, eh? Yeah, I use three PP ups. Or eight then, I guess. Uh, my champ's about to kick my butt out of here. Yep, that's more rare candies. Um, so it looks like I need for Steelix to miss with Rock Tomb. Because if my speed is lower, uh, yeah. I don't see... Because with the amount of earthquakes in Bruno's battle, I don't see this going anywhere if I'm slower. He went for earthquake. That's not a speed down. I can I can deal with that. I mean, John, I think the reason this is going better is because I have leftovers this time. Yeah, Fire champs. red runs would be so much easier if they just gave you access to this without catching 30 Pokemon. <laughs> right. No, I'm out of here. Yeah. Bruno. Fire red is just not friendly with held items in general. Besides a few berries here and there. Mm-hmm. It's true, actually. Yeah. Well, and the, uh, the starter held items, like the Mystic Water, Miracle Seed, and the uh, Charcoal. Yeah. Eruption is so powerful with Sunny Day, I am two-shotting Gyarados. <laughs> yeah, when we switch Pokemon, you're really going to enjoy this thing. I'm looking forward to it. I'm uh, Plus, uh, currently struggling with Bruno a fair amount. Steelix 2, please don't. Oh my gosh, Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan's going to mess me up now. Unless I can crit. Rounds. No. In both rounds, Aerodactyl what? still... Yeah. <laughs> oh, you ass. Ah. So, I was down to my last Pokemon, Hitmonchan. <laughs> Sky, I'm like super beat up, super low health. Uh, he Sky uppercuts me down to one HP, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna win. There's no way. Mock Punch. Yeah, I hate that pop <laughs> I always forget it exists because it's not in round one, so. I think I've honestly, got a winner. I just need to get a little luck. Honestly, Scott, one thing I kind of like about the limited held items, like you can't just over-rely on them. You kind of have to think outside the box, especially with like the limited berries if you don't use pickup. Yes. Like, you really have to think about these. And I have to think about how I'm going to kill this Tyranitar. <laughs> Facing oh, our own no. problems, eh? I just moved I on to Agatha. Actually, oh, what's that? I, you might have an easier time. Like, Tyranitar is neutral to Thunderbolt. It resists Flamethrower for me. Mm-hmm. Just Darn. barely missing the one-shots again. I'm, I'm resetting. I'm not dealing with that. I'm putting on a Chesto. No, I want my leftovers. Never mind. Free reset. Take it, Agatha. Most held items on. are only accessible via Thief. Yeah, yeah, it's such a pain. Yeah. At least the black belt's somewhat easy, because all the black belt trainers hold them. But I know some of the other ones are, like, only on wild Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like, think I've only ever, I've only ever done that for one run, and it was uh, Shedinja. I taught it Thief, and I tried to get a spell tag off of a Haunter. Mm hmm Because I think it was absolutely needed for the first round, because I didn't have leftovers. Right, yeah. Oh, wait, no. Leftovers is useless for Shedinja. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized what I said. Yeah. You're just recovering 0 0.125 uh, hit points every turn. Or no, it's a 16th, so it's like 6125 or whatever it is. Yeah. Whew, okay. Agatha down. Lance time. Let's go. The variable damage with eruptions really throwing me off. Like, like I get to the Tyranitar, I do more than half, but then the chip damage plus the sun wearing off at the wrong time does 
just low enough to where it lives on one HP every time. <laughs> that's like, yep, that, that's how I've been feeling, honestly, for a lot of this run. Just like hitting, not hitting ranges that I was hoping to hit. Yes! Oh, beautiful! Okay. As some Pokemon Tower music kicks in, another one of my favorite tracks. Sunny Day. Hey, Sunny Day helps get rid of the Sandstorm. That's convenient. Never Melt Ice you can pick up from Island... Uh, what is it? Uh, Island 4 in the Ice Cave with Lorelei. Alright, what TMs do I have that can help with that thing? Uh, really, we don't... Fresh Ram doesn't get Solar Beam. That's sad. No. <laughs> actually, I'm honestly surprised actually you didn't give it this thing. I know... I'm pretty sure it learns it in Gen 5. Or unless I'm wrong. Pretty sure it does. Uh, uh, what's earthquake? my... Maybe Earthquake. No. Oh, crud. We don't learn Brick Break. I do. Na 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 na. <laughs> I'm gonna mute you. I'm gonna mute you. <laughs> I think I have Should to I use of... an Elixir. Should I get rid of Dragon Claw for Earthquake for the champion? Uh... I don't see Dragon Claw being super useful for you and the champ. I would have to kill the Charizard with a rush. If I oh, did right. You don't. You didn't. Oh, I guess I don't have ancient power either anymore. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it at all. I think I just need to get lucky. Two more rare candies. I got this. I've, no worries. I've used all my rare candies. I'm level 75. That's so weird. I don't understand that because I've used almost all my rare candies and I'm level 73. And I used my I, rare candies a lot later than you. I think I fought more trainers on the islands. Mm. Plus, I did get an extra... I got the lost cave candy, too, so that helps. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's fair, uh, that's fair. I did not go and get the lost cave candy. Uh, my favorite track, I would say, is the... Um, what's it called? It's called the Final Road. It's the Victory Road track. Does anyone know a ROM hack ass physical special split? Uh... Doesn't Radical Red have the physical special split? Radical Red has the physical special split and, like, a myriad of other things. Um, yeah, it's it's essentially a Gen 8 version of Fire Red. Heracross. Oh, oh I see the issue. Uh, when you made uh, Rush Ram's moveset, you gave it the Rush Ram moveset and the Zekrom TM list. Is that what I did? Yeah. My bad. That's the issue right here. I'm seeing Zekrom's TMs. <laughs> My bad. Um, so my problem is going to be against Heracross. I can teach Fly, but that's kind of gross. I don't know. The semi-invulnerable turn for a free heal is pretty tempting. It's true. I just taught it. <laughs> I outspeed, so... Alright, it does. Oh, Gyarados. Oh, no. Uh, maybe it'll just Dragon Dance? Or no, it's just spamming Earthquake. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the Earthquake spam, eh? Like, it's brutal. Why do so many people have that move? There's I... only one TM in the whole game. Did they just mug Giovanni or something? <laughs> they must have. I was, uh, I think I, I tried counting it, and I think something like... Like, a third... Or, sorry, two-thirds of all Elite Four Round Two members have... Oh, I should be going for Earthquake here, you muppet. Yeah, that's another reset. Um, I think two-thirds of the round two Elite Four have Earthquake on their set. Like, two-thirds of the total Pokemon kind of thing. Hmm, makes sense. TM Is there case. anything I can learn that would help? Crunch uh, hamstrings me again. Oh. oh, no, we're doing it. <laughs> Rush Ram does learn Solar Beam. I, I just never knew that because I'm looking at Zekrom's TM list. My bad. <laughs> I ain't letting you forget it. <laughs> I'll be I could have beaten the I could have beaten the champion so long ago if I had no mind. <laughs> I'll Egg be is, uh, rigging nothing against me. I'll be I'll be struggling with that exact same problem in like what fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I have to right. substitute first. So I need it up for the Tyranitar so I can get a free sunny day. Earthquake hurts. Brick break hurts more. Come on, come on. Alakazam. Do I outspeed this thing? 200? Yes, I do. Up I go. 
technically... I'm not getting any benefit from leftovers because of the sandstorm. Really? Yeah. Why does everything have earthquake? Come on. Oh no. Oh no, a crit! No! Use your last rare candy? Yeah, I'm using my last rare candy just to try and give us any edge that we can get. This is a janky moveset, by the way, that I've got going. What's your moveset? Uh, right now, it's Thunderbolt, Fly, Earthquake, and Brick Break. No substitute, huh? No substitute. I mean, I really wish I could set my sub back up, but, like, everything here has Earthquake. Unless I can bank Gyarados using Dragon Dance? Darn. Earthquake. Come on. <laughs> Why don't you pull a Lance or something? Nasty. Oh, so, um... Because the Soul Silver run is up for Friday, obviously, I don't mind talking about it now. Uh, round two, Lance feels like a Dragon Master, finally. It is like, he's got uh, such a wild team. Holy. Do you mandate yourself in those runs to uh, do round two before red? I It's not mandated, but I, I like to do it because it's, it, it feels like it follows like more of a natural progression. Oh, I started mandating myself to do it before red. L round two lance i legitimately think is harder than red people don't talk about him enough really i think it depends I on the know. pokemon I maybe i was doing typhlosion it does not handle lance that well typhlosion no absolutely not i um my experience so far with fire types against lance is just like purely awful <laughs> like executor with the sleep no <laughs> these resets take so long hey I'm stuck in the same fight as you are. <laughs> this is a pretty close this race, honestly. Brutal. This is brutal. Hey, it's all caught up just because of how hard this fight is. Exactly. We're caught up with each other. So honestly, early time save doesn't even matter. Yeah. Hey, now the Gyarados using Dragon Dance. <laughs> I hate. I hate this. I hate round two champion. Oh, I know. Is the next dual stream going to be you playing Reshiram and Speed playing Zekrom? No, that's going to be this stream. We plan on, uh, after we finish these first runs, we're going to reset and uh, swap Pokemon. Uh, yep. Uh, uh. It's nice because I can I can stream that little bit longer today because I'm not talking the entire time. <laughs> yep. Come I on. need something for Charizard. Uh... I need my leftovers in order to not die from Sandstorm, and then for Executor to not hit with Sleep Powder. That's all I need. Or for me to wake up. Or for him to go for Light Screen! Come on! Fly up high! Smack him! Smack him! Smack him! Honestly, yes! I think I might want Fly. Fly just saved me. Round two is down. Woohoo! Oh, man. Uh, Rash Ram's really struggling with round two right now. Oh. champion. Like, I can get to the Charizard semi-consistently, but I've only got Eruption Solar Beam, and I can't set up a substitute because of Earthquake. Yeah. Oh, it's so nasty. Earthquake is just brutal in round two, oh. constantly. I have an idea. I'm going to get rid of Eruption, and I'm going to teach Fire Blast. I think mm. the draining power is costing me, because mm -hmm. it gets weaker throughout the fight. Yep. I'm going to uh, open up your stream and uh, creep on you for a moment. Nasty earthquake oh. is just. All right, substitute, rock tomb, please. Thank you. I'm gonna have to get lucky with these fire blasts. <laughs> so I think all five of them are gonna be used. Oh, I'm hoping for you. I'm hoping for you. Solar beam. There we go. It... Sun is still up. This is a two. Sh oh, crit! Really. It's so weird for me because, like, I'm listening to you live and I have your stream muted, but, like, it's so delayed. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, YouTube is just like that. Oh, I know. I love it. It's awesome. That is interesting. A Sunny Day Fire Blast does more than half to Charizard. That is really promising. Can I show I just... Speedrunner Speed? Sorry, um, interrupt. Or, yeah, you can uh, do yeah, that. Let me, uh, let if me you have a If you have a scene in OBS, to switch to a desktop screen. Yeah, that's just what I'm... All right, substitute, we'll fire blast. A little bit of a lag on the uh, voice versus what his mouth is doing, but you'll, you'll be fine. Okay, solar beam. Tyranitar's down. 
Now I just got a two shot the Gyarados. Come on, do what you did last time. Use Dragon Dance. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? Not even two in a row. Okay, then. Uh, 37 watching the stream? Right on. Thank you. Oh, 10 HP. 10 HP. Oh, come on. Do it, do it, do Are you. No, I think the sun wore off. I, I think I'm. I think I'm toast. Like, I need a crit on something. Like, uh, crit the Gyarados or something. Like, maybe a crit on the Gyarados? That would help. I don't know if a crit solar beam will one shot, because I don't know if crits do double damage or if it's like 50% or something. I'm pretty sure it's double in Gen 3. Hmm. Pretty sure. Oh, that Charizard just takes you apart every time, eh? I've never once gotten past it, no. <laughs> solar beam, dragon dance, use it again. Come on. Not nah, earthquake. <laughs> Not earthquake. Man. Uh Actually, Speedrunner, I'm just going to leave you for a quick moment. I'm just going to stand up, take a quick stretch, uh, use the little boys' room, little eggs' room, and uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right. Uh, yes, fire. And I missed. What do I still have to deal with past the Charizard? I I haven't seen Alakazam and I, Executor. I really need to get lucky. This is not even funny. Yeah, all you guys who voted Egg would win. Yeah, congrats. Crits are double? Okay, that's good to know. Uh, okay, substitute. Rock Tomb, there you go. Fire Blast. I wonder if the Tyranitar just has a chance to just be dumb and use Thunderbolt or something? I don't think so. I think it's just always going to use it. Come on, Gyarados. Two Dragon Dances. Two of them. Thank you. Alright, now I can go to Charizard at full health. Alright, the sun's worn off, so I gotta set it... Oh. I... That was dumb. I thought the sun wore off. I really should have paid attention. Alakazam. Okay. Uh... I don't think I should try... I'll try substituting. Oh my god, 1 HP. Uh... Fire Blast. Okay. Sunlight Faded. Please knock it out anyway. Yes! Let's go! 144.21. Oh my god, that was freaking rough. There we go. Eggs boys I... super low? It's because I wasn't here. I, uh... You missed it. I beat him. Actually... On my stream and like watching your stream, it's just about to catch up, so I'm, I'm just gonna sit and enjoy. You're against the Alakazam right now. Yeah, I tried to use a substitute seeing if I could heal, but it broke my substitute. Yeah. So, and fortunately, Fire Blast still killed it, but on the Executor, the sun wore off, and yeah. fortunately, Fire Blast still KO'd it. Yeah, I saw the substitute take you to 1 HP. It's like, holy. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna straight up tell you ahead of time, uh, I think you want, might want to try, like, level 78 or 80. Like, you need a higher level than 75. Yeah. Hey, champ. Yeah. Hey, on the bright side, when we switch, like, you'll know what to do. For sure. Why is my desktop audio cloning my mic all of a sudden? Hello? Nope. I think I'll... Um, just give me one quick second here. I'm just figuring out why I'm echoey all of a sudden. Uh... Gotta load up that chrome. That was a very rough champion fight. There we go. No, I'm still coming through in my own audio. Why? Why? Uh, do you have like a separate, uh... Uh, yeah. Well, no, I turned it off, but it was muted.
a whole separate audio source. I'm just changing it to be a separate audio source. I just can't figure out why my voice is duplicated suddenly. <laughs> yeah, that's odd. Um, I think I'm gonna. Just my. Shoot. Duplication audio. Yeah, so. Why? Why? It's my. My own microphone is just duplicating itself as a source for whatever reason. That is weird. Uh, Ashley, uh, I I think I know why uh, it's happening. Uh, your microphone. Do you have like a an in audio input source in your sources for your mic? Um, yes. Uh, it might also be capturing through the default like OBS line in microphone thing, because OBS has that by default. You gotta silence that. Where are you? Okay, well. It worked until I stood up to pee, and now it's not working. <laughs> that is weird. Um, if I close OBS, it's going to crash the stream, isn't it? Mic audio. I'm going to try just, like, deleting all my audio sources and then bringing them back, so bear with me for a second. That's, fu that's fine. I need... Mm -hmm. Talk volume hide. Uh oh. This is annoying. <laughs> I have no idea why it just decided to start duplicating me. Maybe. No. Seriously. <laughs> um, apologies to the viewers out there. My voice just decided to be doubled. Is it coming through as double for all of you as well? Or is that just me? Am I just hearing myself? Sounds better now. Nope. Okay, so I can hear myself. It's annoying, but as long as you are not hearing two of me, that's all I matter, or all I care about. We hear you loud and clear. Perfect. Well, loud and clear, but just one of me or two of me? Where is it here? Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we'll wait for speed to come back, but uh, you hear me, you hear one of me, and you hear music. Yes? Just one of you, we don't hear the duplicate. Perfect! <clears throat> that was weird. That was weird. I don't understand what happened, but uh, yep, yep, yep. Let's... Uh... I have returned. There we go. Speed is back. I'm just setting up myself. And yep, you guys on my stream can see what Zacharum was replaced with in the game's code. A ho -oh. Yes, I don't think I mentioned that earlier to... Somebody mentioned that ho -oh was popping up on my overlay. Yes, that is the Pokemon that uh, both Reshiram and Zekrom replaced. Uh, hey, Philip. Sorry I'm late. Had to attend a funeral. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope... Uh... I hope it went as well as a funeral could. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear it, yeah. Maybe a tip for my next playthrough. Blood up, battle as many trainers as possible. You're going to need all of the experience after what Speedrunner just encountered? That seems fair, yep. Yep. Let's see. What did I learn from Eggstream? Uh, don't teach full tackle. Nope. Uh, <laughs> do you think Substitute would have helped you at all in the Round 2 League? Um, it would have, 
It would have given more con consistency against Bruno, for sure. I think Bruno and the champion were definitely my hardest fights, but I feel that Substitute would have limited my moveset a little bit too much. Considering we don't have a boosting move, I think having the coverage is more important. Yeah. I mean, you're going to get Sunny Day, which is kind of a boosting move. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I did. I decided against going Rain Dance Thunder. I just felt it would be that little bit slower. Oh. Okay. Zekrom's moveset is Zekrom level up and Zekrom TM. So, uh, yeah, Rush Ram's TMs are not known. Dragon Claw. I swear I had that. Maybe I just copied the wrong one. Hold on. Let me uh, pull up. Let me pull up the internet. Oh, that's the wrong button. Breaking my stream. What was your final move set going into? Um. Round two. Final move set going into round two was Thunderbolt, Crunch, Ancient Power, and Dragon Claw. I want to say, and it stayed pretty much the same until the champion fight when it was Thunderbolt, Fly, Brick Break, Earthquake. <laughs> Super janky. Focus Punch. Yeah, because Reshiram didn't get Focus Punch, but Zekrom did. So uh, there was definitely some amount of... Did you, uh... Do you think... Uh. I think Rock Slide might come very handy for Zekrom. Yes. I uh, kind of regret not going for, uh... Yeah. For Rock I Slide. For round I think for round two, I might use a Thunderbolt Substitute Rock Slide Earthquake. Thunderbolt, Substitute, Rock Slide, Earthquake. Yeah, yeah, I could see that working for sure. Um, yeah. I'm just, it's the substitute with these guys. And like, I've noticed this with Fire, Electric, Poison, that like, if you're going for substitutes, you have to be able to survive either the Rock Tomb or especially Earthquake because there are so many Earthquakes in round two. <clears throat> Makes no sense where they're getting all those TMs from. Mm-hmm. Azure, hope you're not too late. Not at all. You, uh, well, you did miss the first run, um, but now we are switching Pokemon. So I will be running Reshiram, and Speedrunner will be running Zekrom. Once we're ready to go again. Yep. I'm all set up. Just ho holding on for you. Yep. Ready to go when you are. All right. Um, you did this last time, so I guess I'll go. Uh, yeah. All right. Three, right, two, you want me oh, wait, you ready? Or, no, yep, yep, yep. Uh, sure, you can do the countdown. <laughs> yeah, you did it last time. It's my turn. I want to play. Um, fine. Sorry. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. All right. Starting off a whole new run. Relying that is on... a nice back right? Yeah, it, it looked really good, actually. I quite enjoyed playing. Yeah. With Zeki. Uh, I wasn't, me or Axu weren't the ones who made them. Uh, there's a lot of ROM hackers online for Gen 3, and they mm -hmm. pretty much made sprites for almost every Pokemon. That's awesome. So yeah. Just free to use. You gotta love it, eh? Yeah. This community, so great. Yeah. Ooh. For the Gen 1 backports I do, though, I have to make the sprites myself, but they've been turning out pretty good. Mm hmm. Yeah, I've never, uh,. Never attempted it. Is it like as simple as just grabbing like the Gen 5 sprite and just uh, kind of like dumbing it down have, a little bit or? Uh, the the uh, front sprite uh, is multiple different sizes, but the biggest one is 56 by 56 pixels. So if you drink it down, it becomes really blurred. So what I have to do is I have to trace over it. Gotcha. Yeah. The back sprite's even worse. It's uh, 28 by 28 pixels. <laughs> yeah. It's tiny. It's tiny. That doesn't plus, really give uh, you a you lot to work only, with, eh? Yeah, plus you can only use uh, black and two shades of gray. <laughs> You're not allowed any other colors. Yeah, I guess the palette then, was a little bit more palette. limited. Yeah, and then you have to apply a color palette to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one more thing where it's just like, that that's a future learning project. Philip Farrell with 15 euro, thank you so much. Good, congrats. Thank you, thank you. So generous. And because I'm streaming with somebody else today, your money will not get me to say words. <laughs> what is he trying to make you say? A um, couple streams ago, I want to say this was like two weeks ago, um, I was playing 
the Pokemon White stream, and uh, right when Philip had to go to bed for the evening, he donated a final last little, I think it was 20 euro again, and uh, he said, give Philip or give Turbo his F-bomb, because the stream <laughs> has been waiting for me to swear for so long. Oh. <laughs> so, well, I mean, uh, if you got the money, you could just do it, like, my chat's heard me swear plenty of times. Oh, yeah. No, I uh, I try to be good, but you know what? Uh, okay. Since everybody was asking for it for so long, <laughs> what the heck? All right. But then, of course, Turbo missed the last stream where I was a little bit more raunchy than normal. Slash. He just, he just keeps delaying it, man. He keeps delaying it. <laughs> Oh, I didn't reset my badges. Whoops. Give me one second with that. I have never heard you swear. Well, that's probably because you haven't been in too many streams then. <laughs> During the solo runs, I don't do it as much. But when I do other things, then it just comes out. <laughs> oh, I... Shoot. Didn't mean to buy all that potions. Sure you did. Potions are useful. <laughs> Potion? They're useful for, like, until Misty? Uh, what do I want my moveset to look like? That looks good. Well, when I get to uh, Vermilion, that's when I like to just sell the nugget, any potions I have left, and buy supers. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I learned just the other day that other people, like Scott, like, Scott doesn't do a Vermilion buy, which really surprised me. I kind of thought most people did. Uh, doesn't do a what, sorry? Uh, Vermilion buy. Like, guys, I think he says he buys super potions in Zeladon. Oh, um, I don't know. I very rarely do a shopping stop in Vermilion. I guess that's just a me thing. <laughs> it might just be me, too. Like, or just, yeah, different way of doing things. I, I always try to hold out until I can get to Saffron for my second big shopping trip because I like the, uh, max repels, full restores, and hyper potions being early, or er, accessible. I didn't need to heal here. Whoops. Yeah. Hey, but yeah. you guys have faith that I'll win for once. Thanks. <laughs> What's your record on stream for uh, kicking other people's butts? Uh, I mean, with the Gen 1 backports, the margin of error is so small, especially since it's Gen 1 and we use instant text. Mm -hmm. Pretty much getting one reset on Brock means uh, you're just going to lose. You lose. Wow. I, uh... Do not play with margins that tight. <laughs> no, instant text makes the margins so tight. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. If you get one reset, the only way for you to catch up, you have to hope the other person gets a reset. Yeah, exactly. I keep using, um, like, the, like my muscle memory already from the last run. I keep look, moving over to use Dragon Claw, but I don't even, own, I don't even know Dragon Claw yet. <laughs> and I keep using, like, yeah. Ancient Power and random moves. When you normally record your two playthroughs for your videos, do you do them in the same day? No. Typically, I will do the first playthrough, and then I will script and edit it so that I, uh, I'm able to kind of go through the playthrough and figure out where I went wrong, think about things a little bit more deeply, and then I do the second playthrough. Hmm. I, kinda, I can see how that would work. I kind of do it mine a different way. I do round one. I... I revise and think where did things go wrong, then mm -hmm. I do my second run and then script. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, I feel like um, as I do more runs and get more well-versed with it, that I'm going to get better and better at uh, just kind of jumping straight into a second run. But right now, I, uh, I definitely enjoy kind of stopping to consider and think and all that. <laughs> I don't know if you did this in the last run, but I actually stopped by and teach Mega Punch over Dragon Breath. I stopped there last run, and I was tempted to, but I didn't end up actually replacing anything. Uh, it's just I didn't think Dragon Breath is just going to be useful right now. Plus, it'll help with extra power points for Nugget Bridge. Mm -hmm. Although, I'm just sl spamming Slash. <laughs> I'm spamming Flame Wheel. It's nice to use a special attacker. Uh-huh. Just wait till you get to the poison pointers. <laughs> Every single time. 
Mm -hmm. Actually, I should be switching to Slash to avoid super effective text to save that little bit of time, because clearly I am a top-level runner. Uh-huh. <laughs> Crunch. Crunch! Okay, oh, bye, Slash. Uh, I'm getting rid of Dragon Rage. I'm going to keep it around for a little bit longer. It's not going to one-shot anything anymore, but at least it gives me a guaranteed two-shot, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean, right now... Slash will either one or two shot pretty much everything, mm -hmm. and it has more power points, so I feel like it's not needed anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dragon Breath was definitely the first one I got rid of both times, I think. Did you get rid of it for Rush Around? Yes. Yeah, it, I think it was the first move to go. Hmm. Poison Point. Thank you, Nidoran. I'll do you one better. I just got hit with two sand attacks. <laughs> I forget how many I got hit by, but I did miss a bunch in that battle. Not enough. I, I still got through, but I did miss. <clears throat> oh, right. I totally forgot. I, I've been so focused on gameplay, I haven't hydrated. Be sure to hydrate. I've got water right next to me. Go... Oh, right. Hikers and stuff. How do I deal with those? Oh, I guess I still got... Yeah, I got Crunch. Crunch doesn't care about your Geodude. Nope. It does care about the Machops, though. <laughs> ah, these stupid Nidorans. Going for Crunch. Still contact, but... Spread out my PP. There's another poison point. Yep. That's why I always buy a bunch of antidotes when I'm in... Computer doing my initial shop. Is Spark a contact move? I believe so. Hmm. Yeah, it's so weird, eh? How, like, all these moves are special moves, and yet they're still... Oh, I got tagged by Youngster Chad again. Mr. Runny up and, up and down near Bill's house again. <clears throat> well, I skipped it. I'm so yay, I'm in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> my friend has so many Pokemon... Or cute Pokemon, I'm jealous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, in this in this upcoming val uh, video, apparently I felt like going a little bit valley girl at times, so, you know, fair warning. Tur let's see. Got wine right next to me? Yeah, you know, that's mostly water. All right, Misty. Oops. Let's use some of the seven potions that I have. Why? Hey, you never know. <laughs> nope, did not I'm mean looking, to go for Dragon Rage. I'm going to really look forward to you struggling with the Gyarados. Hmm. Maybe I'll come up with something clever. I'm sure. I doubt it. I wonder if you'll consider Eruption. Uh, absolutely. I just like Volt Tackle. Like, I definitely want to get it. And if I end up uh, regretting it and going back to get Flamethrower, then, well, I've lost no time compared to the first run. <laughs> yep. Uh, All right. I'm going to go get rest this time. You never know. I'm, yeah. I didn't need it last time, but uh, especially going towards Lan round two Lance, like, that, uh, if you can't one-shot his lead Gyarados, like, that paralysis is so nasty. I'm just gonna substitute it. Shockwave for Gyarados? Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, the Reshiram doesn't get Shockwave. Reshiram doesn't get Shockwave. Well, never yeah, mind. Yeah, that was from you, uh, making oh, a typo on the movesets. That's my boo-boo on the movesets. <laughs> I just yeah, saw it in now chat. You know how not... I feel. Yeah. <laughs> now you know how I feel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this will come up, but Reshiram can learn Solar Beam. You may want to consider picking it up. Uh, I'll pick up Solar Beam for sure. It absolutely helped in the round two champion. It yeah. was my only way to deal with Tyranitar. Brutal. You have to go I had to go into the fight with substitute still up and get off a sunny day, get rid of the sandstorm, and then kill it with solar beam. <laughs> that's, that's just mean. Crunch. Rock slide. Um, I likely will not go for rock slide this time, just because I'm I'm the special attacker. But I think Speed said that he's interested in picking it up for the physical. 
Yeah, I might wait till round two, though, for Rock Slide. We'll see. Yeah, I'm still gonna grab. Oh, wait, we can't learn Brick Break, can we? You tried that. So I should not pick it up. Wow. I hope it's really quiet on my end, but like when I can hear my own inputs <laughs> in the controller. Speaking of, we got to get this uh, music going again. There you go. Get back in here. I just realized I skipped Misty by mistake. Whoops. <laughs> have you done that in a run before? I have. I've, it's uh, embarrassing. I've skipped a lot of embarrassing things accidentally, like forgetting strength, like going all the way to Victory Road, doing the boulder puzzle, but then realizing you don't have strength. Yep. Done that a few times. What are we talking about? Banana milk, chocolate, what? I want banana some milk. banana milk and chocolate. <laughs> oh, you've got banana milk next to you. Interesting. I don't think I've ever tried banana milk. I don't know if I'd want to try that. I don't know. For the longest time, like, I, I was even not opposed to, but, you know, like, I didn't even really try any of the nut milks, like, uh, the almond or even the oats or anything like that, because milk doesn't come from nuts. It comes from somewhere else. There we go. Uh, my go-to is vanilla or chocolate, but they were out, so I went banana. Gotcha. Oh, was it just, like, a banana-flavored milk? Like it's, or is it actually like a milk derived from from bananas? Oh, oh Surge, of course you have to be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, AMW, so does mine. Yeah, I just got to Surge myself. It's the, uh, I just took a lovely static paralysis and I didn't put a cherry berry on because I decided to not do it i foresee cherries being useful for lance in the future potentially um dragon rage you're out of here ah, that's funny the music just randomed to the uh trainer victory right as you won uh right as i won yep uh flavored pretty much live off the stuff gotcha i was just like how do you Get milk out of bananas. That's, uh... <laughs> nope, we're stopping that right there. <laughs> you know, it's something they don't talk about. <laughs> I haven't been taught how to do that since sexual education in grade five or whatever it was. <laughs> oh, as the stream goes on, it just gets steadily less appropriate. I blame that one guy in your chat. Which one? I have a few. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I like how that was the first thing you said. Uh, there, there's a, there's, I, I love them. Uh, they, they always make me laugh. But uh, sometimes when I'm choosing, oh, I forgot the bike. I forgot the bike. Um, when I'm choosing what to repeat and what not to repeat, I uh, have to censor them. <laughs> Just a little bit. Milk in general is amazing. Agreed. I love milk. Huh? Get your vitamin D. Calcium. Stuff. I also love how the game corner music is playing right now. Um, I'm going to heal because I'm really thrown off by not having the bike right now. That doesn't make sense, but it does somewhere in my head, so... Mjork. I'm getting claimed for this. <laughs> You're fine, probably. I mean, I haven't been, and I'm definitely the worst culprit for just singing along with stuff, so... Yeah. You know, Actually, touch wood. I used to do... Uh fire red randomizers for a bit i think mm -hmm. i've only done like 12 of those streams uh every single one of those is now copyright claims oh, because really? of one piece of music and it's the deoxys battle music 
I have not included any Deoxys battle music, thankfully. <laughs> yeah. I wonder I why that take is. That out. I don't know why, but apparently, like, a few of those streams were discovered, and to this day, I'm still getting claim notices saying, like, hey, your old Fire Red randomizer with Pichu was now copyright claimed. Like, they're still looking. Mm -hmm. Like, they're going back and looking at all of them, trying to find it. That's wild. I get, like, one of those every two weeks. Hey, your old Fire Red randomizer was copyright claimed. Huh. I just don't do anything about it. I mean, what <laughs> money are they going to make from it? Yeah. Well, I was just wondering, like, I, I haven't encountered that yet myself, but, uh, yeah, like, I just... Normally, I... only during streams. I think it's just because you talk a lot. I had a problem with remembering to talk during streams. Mm -hmm. I have a habit of just talking nonstop. That's a good one to have if you're streaming. Yeah. Usually, though, like, at, at, I'm happy that I can always have, like, you know, a, a solid um, number of viewers that are also talking because I can talk to them. Like, yeah, if I run out of things then, to say, I can rely on them. I think back them. then, like, a good day for viewership was, like, six people, and there was, like, one chatter, so it was kind of hard. Mm hmm Didn't they use that music movie, music in his movie, the uh, Deoxys theme in uh, Deoxys' movie? I don't know why. Uh, I have not seen it. That might have been why, that, but it's it's so weird because... A, sorry. That is a possibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, funnily <sighs> enough, uh, I, in my music pool, I still have the Deoxys Encounter theme, but just not the battle theme. I think... I don't think... I think I have the battle theme still in mine, but not the Encounter theme. I can't remember. I, I need to go through my music and fix a bunch of stuff. Oh, I just hate... So this science, this super nerd with the uh, the Grimers on the route between um, Saffron City yeah. and Lavender Town. Yeah. I have hit him exactly twice. It was on Mewtwo stream and this one. <laughs> what is with that guy and Cosm? I, I know if you are able to one shot him, he's actually pretty decent training because of his muck, mm -hmm. especially in Gen 1. Yeah. No, I've, yeah, I've hit him twice, and yeah. it was... We pretty... Yes, yeah, yeah, Steve and uh, Van Man discovered just how good that one guy was from the Parasect race Scott hosted a while back. Mm -hmm. Like, they just sat down for, like, 16 hours or something and just developed the most perfect route. <laughs> and they, they were, like, testing experience yields on everyone trying to find the best. That's crazy. I would love to, like, I think Mewtwo would be a run that I'd be interested in, like, fully devoting myself to figuring out like that. But, uh, again, just one project at a time, right? Yeah. Oh, no, not Meowth. Pidgey wants to learn fly. Uh, somebody was asking me a question, I think. I'm actually going to have to fly back to Cerulean really quickly to grab that bike voucher. Whoops. This is also why I don't play runs back-to-back -back usually, because it, uh things m break in my brain slightly more. Oh, right. I'm not really? uh, I'm not taking items from Meowth. I just took an ass pear berry from Meowth. I hope you can forgive me. Oh, no. Whatever. Now how am I gonna... What am I gonna do if I get frozen? <laughs> Is that what it does? I don't even know what it does. Because <laughs> I never use it. it it's, it's the most useless berry in all of Pokemon. There you go. <laughs> That's probably why I don't know why it does. Yeah. Now I'm going to get a bunch of people in my chat saying, um, there are those berries you use to make poffins with. Well, I mean, I meant most, the most useless that technically has a use. Right. Oh, yeah, because aren't there a bunch of Pokeblock berries that you can get that yeah, like, do absolutely that, nothing? Like, for battles, yeah, but for like in battle, no. Right. They don't uh, have to really use I thought in Fire Red there were still the berries that uh, gave you Poke Blocks, which yeah, like they're completely useless because there's no Poke Block mechanic in Fire Red. Uh, there actually sort of is. Like, there's, okay, you know that one house where you have in Cerulean, you got to go through it to get the rare candy. The house right next to it, uh, there's apparently hmm. a guy who will give you like a, I think it's called like a berry powder grinder. You put in berries and you can use it to make like the bitter medicines, like revival herbs and stuff. Gotcha. Or, like, powders. Yeah. It's not really that useful, but it's something. It's something, yeah. I've clearly never been frozen by Lorelei. Uh, I have, but it happens so infrequently that I just... It's its an act of fate. <laughs> it's... <laughs> yeah, and I think on Island 2, like, there's that game corner. I think one of the games is uh, putting berries in, like, a huge, like, berry mixer or something. Some, that's, I've never played it. That sounds right. To, uh, 
it required the, uh, what's it called? The little thing you put on your GBA to connect with people? It required that thing. Mm, well, that's also why I never did it. Uh, the only one I remember from that, uh, that game corner is the Dodrio Dash. It's the only game I remember. Azure Rain, thank you for the $2. Sending love and support, thank you. Azure, thank you. Uh, what am I doing against Onyx? Oh, that's an almost one shot. Um, somebody asked me, um, have we already showed some love to Speedrunner and his live stream? Well, you gotta. Head over there. Be sure to like and, uh, comment on his stream. Let him know that you like what you hear. See, do, yeah. things. Yeah, or you can just come over and tell me how obnoxious I am. Either way works. <laughs> Dig, how much PP do I have? Flame wheel, four. Not enough. Let's heal. Uh, Azure Rain on my hey, side now with $2. Thank you very much. Sending love and support. Back at you, my friend. Uh, hey, AMW. I think I saw you over at Scott's stream earlier. Oh, right. I officially have, like, good news I can share. Um, I got the okay, and uh, next Tuesday's stream, I've been teasing about uh, involving another creator, and now that I have the official go-ahead, um, I'm also mentioning this in uh, tomorrow's video, but... Tuesday, March 12th, I will be joined on stream by the one and only Scott's Thoughts. Heck yeah. Oh, congrats. My inspiration is going to try and learn things from me. <laughs> and I have no idea first, how that's going to go. <laughs> unfortunately, the first stream that I had with uh, Scott, it was also with Steve M. Plays. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the first 30 minutes. It was like our very first backport. I think it was Kyogre. Mm -hmm. uh, the first 30 minutes were all technical difficulties on my end. It was uh, really embarrassing. <laughs> that was how the first one went. I get that. Yeah. Oh, I want ancient power so bad. So, but is it going to be a surprise what exactly you're doing? Or can you say it? Um, we are playing Fire Red. Oh. <laughs> is it gonna be, are you going to be like racing with like the same pokemon or like opposite versions like what van man scott did with nidoran that uh, one time we haven't done like we haven't nailed down specifics yet we have nailed down who we're running we are going to be running the same character or same pokemon um but it's more so going to be like just um i don't know i i don't know exactly the format how it's going to play out but like the idea that like Scott was mentioning was just like teach me fire red and I'm like teach me everything else <laughs> I think you probably know more about fire red than he does it's so interesting to me right because like he's got such like, he's got so many resources and development and like just the methodology and everything is just so much more in depth than what I do but I have been playing this game for a year straight, right? So <laughs> I'm just, yeah. I'm so interesting, interested to like watch our worlds collide a little bit. Yeah, I was, I helped uh, Scott trying to teach him stuff about Platinum. Like mm -hmm. it was just over like a two hour Discord voice call. I let him watch one of my raw pieces of footage I hadn't edited yet. Yep. And uh, I think the number one thing he learned from watching me was that uh, those Arceus plates can mm -hmm. actually use, be used on other Pokemon. Oh. Yeah, he thought the Ar he knew the Arceus place would give like a a twenty percent boost to the certain type, but he thought it only worked on Arceus. And he was surprised to learn that no it works on everybody. Oh does it? Okay. So yeah, like when I first looked at that that item as well, my, my instinct was that uh it, it was just a like yeah, Arceus specific, like that's it. Yeah. But that's cool. I didn't know that. That's um is there any access to it in Soul Silver or like is Uh the plates? Mm -hmm. I don't believe so. I don't know. I don't know where you get the plates in Harpo. That's a. I don't, that's a good question. I didn't know they existed until like thirty minutes or thirty seconds the, ago. So <laughs> they're in the. I mean, they're in the game's code just because Harpo and Soul Silver copy and pasted their item data from Platinum, so it's all the same stuff. Oh, okay. So they're in there. Yeah. They are in there. I just. I'm not sure where or if you can get them in that game. Yeah, if they're available or not. I bet Scott was also aware of the Blizzy Trainer. I was the one who told him about it. <laughs> I had to learn the hard way. Uh, my very first attempt with, uh, I think it was Dialga. I showed him the Palkia footage. He never saw Dialga, but I had only special moves going into it. It was a 30-turn battle. Ooh. That's long. Yeah, Plat Platinum is the one game in all of Pokemon that actually does punish special attackers, but hmm. only in one fight, though. Okay. Like, I mean, there's all the Intimidate users everywhere, but 
I guess the one part where special attackers kind of suffer is, you know, just that one Blissey trainer. Mm-hmm. I was kind of wondering, actually, like... Oh, no, I lost the thought. Hold on, it'll come back. <laughs> yeah, the plates are fantastic, Scott. It also kind of upsets me how, uh... Like, so technically there's two charcoals. The charcoal and the flame plate. They're both in the post-game in Platinum. Which is so upsetting. I'm guessing I mean, that you get a lot more flexibility with your uh, held items in that game? Yeah, so much so. Like, uh, it's really hard for me to memorize where they all are. I just have to look at what Pokemon I'm doing and just look up where, like, all right, I might want that plate. Where is it? Right. I think off of memory, I know where Ghost, Dark, Dragon, Grass, uh, Electric, Fighting. I don't know where the other plates are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, just I'll I'll have to try and remember to make a note of that after the stream to see if they exist. Because uh, the other day I was playing uh, Soul Silver and I was like, oh hey, I I wonder if the soft sand would be useful. So I went to where I remembered it being in Generation Two. Uh, then I get a white herb and it's like, hmm, okay, I don't know where to go. <laughs> Iron Leaf Green would benefit so much from a white herb. I have oh, to look up gosh. where to get it. There is nowhere to get it in Fire and Leaf Green. Nope. Not you have to all. trade it in from another game. Yeah. Pretty it's brutal. So it, it No, and it, like the amount of times that the, a white herb would like be able to help me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, Azure just looked it up. The plates can be acquired in Heart Gold, Soul Silver. They're given by the captains of the SSN and Vermilion. And SS Vermilion. Thank you, Azure, for looking that up. The captains? Really? Yeah. Like, is there any conditions for it? I don't remember a guy just giving plates away for free. I yeah I don't you know. Have to have like, do you have to have like Arceus in your party or something? Or is it a? Uh, because the one that takes you between Olivine, not Olivine. Yeah, that's um, the uh, SS Aqua. Yeah, that's the Aqua, not the An. Yeah, it, I mean it's the only boat in the game, anyways. People mix them up. You need all sixteen badges, apparently. Okay. Really. I'll have to remember that. So if you have 16 badges, you just go back on the boat and just talk to one guy and he gives you every single plate. We'll see. We'll see what they say. I I, I don't know. <laughs> um, hey, love the stream. Quick question. Which ROM hack is this? This is actually um, a pretty much vanilla playthrough. The only difference um, made was that Axew, I believe Axew is in chat, um, was kind enough to backport both Reshiram and Zekrom into Fire Red for us, so we're able to play pretty much vanilla Fire Red with these uber legendaries from Gen 5. Yeah. He just replaced Ho-Oh's data with Zekrom's data, basically. Mm -hmm. The rest of the game is the same. We didn't change anything else. Axew has made me aware that uh, there are uh, patches he could make to these ROMs uh, where we could actually backport a fairy typing into the game with all the weaknesses and resistances and everything. That'd be cool. But I don't think I don't think I've ever had to use it yet. I'm trying to think. Well, I mean, I've been talking a lot about Clefairy lately, but I wouldn't mind running it again. That would be <sighs> that would be a fairy, but <laughs> I uh I uh I have to black out on a scientist in Sylph. Oh, uh, no. I was last Pokemon. I had 20 HP left and the magma used Sonic Boom. Can I guess which mag or which uh, scientist it is? Sure. Tell me which floor it was. 5F, right next to the protein and the warp pad. The guy with a magneton, a magnemite, yeah. a wheezing, and a coughing. Yes, that's the guy. Yeah, hell with that guy. <laughs> that guy is mean. He gets me all the time. Okay. And when you don't have a steal option, oh, yeah. he's mean. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, I do know where the sky plate is. Yeah, it's like right in front of Victory Road. Oh, there you go. Or not Victory Road, the Pokemon League. Uh, what about the level up movesets and stats? They belong to Reshiram. So again, they're backported, just kind of trying to um, match what the Gen 5 learn set is, as close as it could be to Gen 3. Um, okay. Unfortunately, I did a little boo-boo when I was configuring the moveset that you see on the side of the screen, and uh, I'm pretty sure this one is actually showing Zekrom's learn set, not uh, Reshiram's. Just, just the TMs, though. Just the TMs, yeah. okay. Yeah, I definitely messed that one up. My bad. Um, but yes, all put together by Axew. Yep. Everyone say thanks to Axew in chats. Thank Both you, Axew. Mm -hmm. uh. 
Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. So good. I'm just listening. You know, I think one of the few tracks that, like, I think got the best improvement from Gen 1 is the SSN. Hmm. I haven't spent a lot of time listening to the SSN track in between, um, plays. Ooh, 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 Alakazam, you're mean. Well, one thing I like about it is, like, during, like, the part of the music where it gets real quiet, you can actually hear a boat horn. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. I love, um, I was noticing it a lot in uh, Generation 5, and again, I, I don't know much about, like, sound au and audio engineering or anything like that, but just, um, the amount of additional depth that I noticed in Generation 5, like, the, the, the red bar music, like, things are actually, like, all ticking on the beat, and, like, there's different things that are happening in sync with the music, and I thought that was just brilliant. Yeah. Oh, huh, apparently you're right. Uh, Pecha Berry is needed for Giovanni. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I did. Water pulse. I don't. Oh, I'm so scared now because I don't know what our learn set is fully. <laughs> Good enough. This guy is awful. Uh, Giovanni. Yeah. Yeah, he's me. I might actually go do other fights instead. I don't think I've done Erica or Koga yet. I should probably have done them first. All right. Oh, I need my EVs displayed. Where are we? I am at 41. I have two, so let's grab... I'm not going to be an idiot this time and not have to come back for uh, a Game Corner TM, right? Yeah, I think you spoke too soon. <laughs> no, I used my first calcium on Pidgey. No! <laughs> I've done that many times. <laughs> Okay, okay. Game dev can't disagree with that. Champion theme in Fire Red is so good compared to the original. Oh, get it. Ah, these guys. Uh, so good compared to the original. The original theme slapped harder than Game Boy, but the updated version is so good. I really like the champion theme. It's kind of 50-50 for me. Like, part of me thinks the champion theme, Fire and Leaf Green, they really went too overboard on the trumpets. Hmm. I don't know. I like them both, but I'm not sure if I can say I like one of them better. It's fair. Oh. Ignore everything that just happened on my screen. I was having a moment. What else is new? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's just like par for the course, eh? Yep. Let's get our max repel. So yeah, it's when's funny. The, when's the Scott stream? Tuesday at 3 p.m. EST? Uh, March 12th, 1 Mountain Time, 3 Eastern. Yes, that okay. is correct. The usual stream time for me. You know what's funny? Like, uh, I always just give stream times in Eastern just because I know uh, a huge majority of uh, people who live in, like, the upper North Americas, like U.S. and Canada, are mm -hmm. all in Eastern. So I try and be convenient for people. And uh, when I told... I was at Gym Leader Matt's stream recently. Uh... Apparently, some people were saying, like, what part of the world they were from. And then I mentioned I lived uh, on the west side. And then he's like, I don't believe you. I've seen all your schedules say <laughs> Eastern time. I don't believe you. Yeah. Well, I think, like, Eastern is kind of, like, the standard time when you're doing business in... Uh, yeah. In, I think I remember yeah. in that same stream, uh, someone brought up some numbers. Apparently, they said, like, 47% of the U.S. is Eastern. I don't know what the percentage wow. is for Canada. But it's probably a similar number, I guess, because oh, I know no. the cap. There. <laughs> it's way higher in Canada. If the eastern population is forty percent or forty whatever percent in the states, it's way higher in Canada. I think like so, like in BC, Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan. I don't think, and the Northwest Territories and Yukon and none of it. I, if you think if you took all of their combined populations, it still wouldn't equal the little belt down by Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal. They, we have yeah. so much density in that one place and then like just random pockets throughout the rest of the country. <clears throat> yeah, I've seen uh, population maps of Canada before. Like it's insane like how packed everyone is. Mm -hmm. Yep, all this space and yet everybody's kind of just Chilling in the middle. Hey, oh. I mean, if you wanted to live away from people, I'm sure Canada <sighs> seems like a good spot. Absolutely. <laughs> no, that's uh 
One of the one of those dreams where it's just like, oh, yeah, it would be so nice, you know, just like, you know, having a little acreage, you know, a little removed from society. I've got my little my little John Deere mower. I can go and mow them like my my couple like acres of grass because that's my lawn. And I got a beer and a little little parasol above my John Deere, you know, like it's like yeah, it's a nice little thing to fantasize about. Or is that just me? <laughs> Alberta's 4.3 million. Oh, man. Mm hmm. Yep. I think. um, What is it? Oh, never mind. I think California has roughly the same population of all of Canada. Uh, California, I think, is 41 million people. They have more than all of Canada, yeah. if that's the case. Isn't all of Canada, like, 37 million? Uh, 38-ish, yeah, somewhere around there is uh, the last I remember. 38, 39, I think. It's been a while. Oh, yeah. How's your run going? Uh, pretty good. I just did Erica and Koga. Koga kept poisoning me so much. I was just overprivileged with Flamethrower on those fights. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, yeah, Scott's Canadian. Egg is Canadian. J-Rose is Canadian. J -Rose. Like, why does Canada have all the PokeTubers? I don't know why. I'm pretty sure, um, I could be wrong on this, but wasn't Johnstone Canadian as well? I think he is, maybe? I can't recall. Mowing your lawn on your John Deere while drinking a beer. Heck yeah, brother. <clears throat> funny. That long hair don't hide your redneck, boy. Uh, so. Definitely picking up Solar Beam. Uh. Scott is Canadian, right? Yes. Scott is Canadian. I just beat Giovanni at like 11 HP while poisoned. Oh man, you're he ahead of me. Hard. He is hard for Zekrom. Oh man. Oh wait, you're talking Sylph Giovanni. Yes. Gotcha. You are not ahead of me. Sorry. Yeah, he was nasty. Giovanni was, uh, it was just poison. Koga was way easier. Uh, the Pecha Berry for Giovanni was definitely the right call. I feel. Uh-huh. Absolutely it was. Game Dev says, hmm, so, Scott and Egg can't be Canadian. They don't say a boot and never say sorry. Oh, there's a moose loose in the hoose, eh? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, if you really want me to, I can start talking a bit more Canadian, but, you know, it just, I don't know. <laughs> Usually it just ends up sounding like I'm from Newfoundland or something. Is that doing? That's doing nothing. Is that not part of Canada to you? It is, but like you know, like it's the e it's like that's like as far east as you go, right? And you know, we're we're kind of like subdivided into our little cliques, you know. Like the west, we're all rednecks, and uh, BC are all potheads. You know, it's just <laughs> we've got our like we've got oh, our little Annie. divisions. <laughs> Annie's laughing so hard right now. <laughs> I think I should teach brick break. Hopefully. Brick Break was useful, but uh, I found it kind of selectively useful. I'm gonna get rid of Crunch. I have so much heart. Like, getting rid of Crunch, like, it's it's the right decision so many times, and I always struggle with it just because I love Crunch so much. I'm not your pal, buddy. Oh, yeah. I'm not your guy, buddy. I'm not your buddy, friend. I'm not your friend, guy. <laughs> we actually, we just watched that one the other night. As we uh, continue our quest through rewatching South Park, I'm still trying to watch that for the first time. I started at the start. I'm only in season twelve. Oh yeah, you're about where we are then. Yeah, I can definitely say season ten is when it gets really good. Oh, the World of Warcraft episode. Uh. Oh, that—that's uh, <laughs> my coworker's favorite episode, World of Warcraft. <laughs> I love so that one. It's so good. I liked how when they spent all that time trying to beat that one OP guy, and they're like, now we can finally play the game, and they're all just so fat. All right, guys, we did it. <laughs> now what do we do? Yeah. Now we play the game. All right, I want everybody to equip potions to your hot bar. <laughs> I was thinking... That was awesome. Oh, I know, right? I was thinking I a couple... All the... It looked like they actually had to play the game to record footage, too. Yeah, it did. I was thinking the other day that I should, uh, with uh, with my girlfriend here, when, whenever she's home and I'm streaming, I should uh, try and get the, the Cartman bathroom solution figured out. Yeah, yeah, Philip, you got it. Mom! Bathroom! Honey! Bathroom! Hot pockets! 
Yeah. Yep. Didn't think we'd go there, that, did you? That show's nasty. Oh, I love that show. It's so funny. And, like, it's yeah. way too close to reality sometimes, and I think that's part of what makes it so funny. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. For me, anyway. Actually, one thing I just like about it is, uh, they just, they just attack everyone and every idea and everything. That's what I like about them. <laughs> yeah. I mean... People have always told me, don't watch the show if you get easily offended. No. Well, no, because, like, I, I feel like... I think it was a, it was a Jordan Peter interview, like, ye forever ago. Like, one of the ones that kind of put him on the mat. But he was... Uh, he said something along the lines of, you know, like, if you're not willing to be offended, then you will never grow, kind of thing. Like... In order to grow as a person, in order to grow as a society, we have to be willing to be offended by some things because we can't just like every idea, right? Like, yeah, I'm trying to think I mean, of an you're example. Always gonna hear stuff you don't like. Mm -hmm. You'll always hear stuff you don't like. Yeah, exactly. And it's like you can you can still like hear something that you don't like and not like go on a full tirade about how the person who said it is the worst human being ever and blah 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 blah. You know, like challenge challenge the idea, not the person. Yeah. Oh. Bad. I don't know. Don't I've got Asperger's and diabetes. Arceus hates me. Darn. The diabetes part just sucks. Ah, Asperger's is fun too. Asperger's, I think it is actually. I think I mispronounced that. I don't know. I rem I haven't gotten that far into South Park, but I remember seeing one scene where Hartman went to the school nurse and he had a he had hamburgers up his butt and then he said I have Asperger's. <laughs> <laughs> I I just laughed so hard. I think that was one of the first times I've seen something from it. Mm -hmm. It was just hilarious. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I can't oh I can't remember. I, mean, I think I know what you're talking yeah. about, but I can't I can't pinpoint it. I don't it. I don't know how far in it is, but mm -hmm. I'll eventually get to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And before anyone tries to call me insensitive, I have Asperger's, so I'm allowed to laugh at it. There's a certain amount of, like, I don't know. Like, I, the world we live in, it's so, people get offended too easily. Like, obviously, watch what you say. Don't outright just say stuff to, like, you know, yeah, get a rise out of people. people. But, yeah, like, people slip up. Yeah. You got. I mean, you got a swear jar at your stream. Does it <laughs> ever get how, filled with money? I don't know Does how accurate that is. <laughs> I wonder I don't how know. much. People always say swear jar, but I'm willing to bet your swear jar has zero bucks in it. Uh, it does have zero bucks in it, but it's not for lack of like. It's got like a little IOU in it. A lot of IOUs in it. <laughs> oh my god. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen the movie uh, Dumb and Dumber with Jim Carrey? Oh gosh, forever ago. But yes, I love that movie. Uh, remember when they found out that the suitcase had all that money and they started getting like luxurious cars and stuff. Yeah. And then the bad guys got the suitcase and it was just all IOUs. <laughs> so good. Oh. <laughs> Asperger's is like you were high on meth, except the reason you act like it is because there isn't any meth in your system. Gosh. That's one way to describe it I've never heard before. I, nope, me either. <laughs> oh, psychic. That's a new one. I just got my second reset of the run. You got your second. I'm at four. Oof. They're all Giovanni. Yeah, Giovanni's nasty. Let me just go for flamethrower right. against this guy. All um, right, now I'm gonna do. Uh, now I'm gonna do the gym leader Giovanni, <laughs> the easiest of the three. Yeah, right. Funny enough. Actually, for Zekrom, I may not say. I may not. I probably shouldn't say that with Zekrom though. Although Brick Break might be enough. Um, who just said that? So, Egg John and I do randomizer runs on Saturday. It's kind of late, like 10 or 10.30 EST. Let me know if you ever want to join it. That's a bit late for uh, for this cowboy, I'm afraid. Thank you for the invite. Yeah, plus I think you're more of a Gen 3 guy, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, is that mostly Gen 1 kind of stuff? Uh, yeah. That's Gen 1. Um, I'm hitting one of those, uh, uh-oh moments. Yeah, AMW thinks that I'm under-leveled right now, and I'm inclined to agree. I'm uh, facing I, rival 6 right now at 46. I got a reset on Warren. Oh, you got a reset on Warren? I had to think. I keep forgetting who Warren is, but yeah, no, I... I yeah, he's mean. 
All right, maybe if Charizard doesn't crit this time, there's my Omni Boost. Okay, we've got it this time. Easy peasy. Whew. Do 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 do. Yeah. Giovanni and OG Red and Blue is trash, but in the other games, he's just Italian jump scare. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think Giovanni one's the hardest Giovanni. Second place is Silphco one. I would disagree ranking the Sylph Giovanni the hardest with the... I don't, I don't know, though, because I feel like you have to do take into account when you fight him, because it's mm -hmm. Sylph, like, you're given access to much more moves, but Celadon, you're still early game. Yeah. And you may not be able to deal with Kangaskhan that well. Like, it's almost always a three or four hit on him. Mm-hmm. I just true. say that it. I just say that if you take into account when you fight him. Fair. Okay. Yeah, I'm with you. Um. Oh no, I do loan Dragon Claw already. Never mind. Yeah, Scott. I dare you. Uh, if you, next time you ever do a Fire Red run where Giovanni's a piece of cake, but Warden, you get resets. Do the intro to Warden instead. <laughs> It'd be so funny. Cool. Actually, never mind. Giovanni 3 gave me a reset. Oh, really? But in my defense, I got hit with Scary Face. <laughs> All the Scary I Faces. Probably, yeah, I should have used a Dragon Claw on the Rhyhorn instead of Brick Break, but I was just thinking super effective. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I don't think I was rocking Brick Break when I was facing him. I think I went all Dragon Claws just because their special defense is so trash. I think I need to equip a Petraberry again. Oh, I think I hear the Deoxys theme. I'm going to skip it now that you got me all worried about it. Uh, well, I don't have a Petraberry, but maybe this Citrus Berry will do. <laughs> These statements come from a player who doesn't play a lot of yellow. Are you talking about Egg or me? Me? What? Scott said these statements come from a player who doesn't play a lot of yellow. As in my statements? What I was saying about Giovanni? I don't know if he, who he's talking to. It can't <laughs> be me. I've certainly played yellow plenty of times. Um, if we account... If, if we discount the fact that I have not played a lot of yellow in the last, like, 20 years, um, I've played a ton of yellow. <laughs> it was just always as a kid. Please, can I just not get poison pointed every three minutes? I think uh, you had to, yeah, we both had to train before the league. I think I might be victory road bound here to get a couple levels for Lorelei. Yeah. Yeah, Giovanni in yellow is brutal. Yeah, I love Giovanni's uh, yellow team as the gym leader. He was nasty. And that was like a nice change. Oh, eruption. Okay, do I want eruption or not? Honestly, it really came in handy a lot. I'm going to do it. My recommendation, like, Eruption's good until the second champion, because losing HP, making Eruption weaker just was too brutal, so I just taught Fire Blast. Yeah. No, the Yawn. I don't want Beyond. No, this is how we die. I got an Omni oh, boost Scott on this says, one. Oh, Scott says he actually will make an intro for Warren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. The eruption does no damage when I have no health. Crap. Whoops. I think at one HP, it's one base power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feels about what I hit him for there or her for there. I'll tackle. Uh... I see my solution here. I can buy more brick breaks. Yes. I'm sure I can utilize this better than Egg can. Like on this Charizard here. Eruption. Okay. I'm going to go to Celadon. Just go pick up some extra brick breaks. There might be another TM there I want. Who knows? I should have a Chesto one. Uh, I'll buy some brick breaks. No! You know what? I'll buy Hyper Beam. Why not? Just in case. <laughs> What's my... Come I... on! No! All right, I'm training. Enough of this. 
You're gonna need to level up quite a bit. Lorelei's gonna be brutal. Yeah. It sounds like Egg struggled with it, but then again, he taught Bull Tackle over Thunderbolt, so I think that was kind of on him. Yeah, that was a dumb choice. On my part. Um, somebody said that they like that I deposit all of my HM cheerleaders before going to the league. Yes, uh, I do that because I like having the, uh, the nice, like, solo splash screen, you know? Like, you defeated the league. Actually, I actually do that for a different reason. It's, uh, I've had plenty of runs where I needed to set up on Pidgeot, but I fear Whirlwind. Mm. So, I actually, in this run, I did it just for that reason. To avoid Whirlwind. To avoid Whirlwind, yeah. Yeah, that's... And yeah. I can... I don't know if you know this or not, but Substitute does not block Whirlwind. Nope. No, I found that out the hard way. Yep, I sure did. <laughs> yeah, it's always nasty when something like that. You're like, oh, okay, I finally got my stub up. I'm, I'm safe, I'm safe. Nope. I feel like I should save. Did you beat Lorelei? No. <laughs> I'm off in Victory Road training at the moment. Debating yeah, if I I'm want to take that. on a Chansey with a full special set. One base power is so bad, it's still one with stab. It is. Very true. I'm going to skip the Chansey trainer. <laughs> I don't know. She wasn't that bad when I fought her. No, maybe I should. Chansey's worth a chunk of experience. Well, then again, I kept Slash until the league. Mmm... I did not. I should be using more extra sensory here. I still have that. Oh, the light screen, you jerk. Oh, hey, the Queen of Nerds has arrived. Who's that? Shadow. I call her the Queen of Nerds now. Nice. Well, every time she comes in my chat, she's like, what's up, nerds? <laughs> she does it every time. Jealous. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm gonna grab overheat. Why not? I'm gonna keep saving yeah, before other bad. Be very, too. It would be very interesting if you found a use for that. I'm wondering about fire blast, like the, how you used fighter bl fire blast. Excuse me. Um, I'm just kind of curious as to how that might work. I don't know. All right. How much more in Victory Road do I want to take care of? I'm actually going to do all the optional trainers here just because the training does help with round two as mm -hmm. well. Mm hmm. Definitely. Oh, shit. That's. Oh, your blood sugar's low. Yeah, you may go eat something. Oh, yeah, definitely. Speed, you're the nerd. Well, <laughs> well I mean, Steve told me to start calling you that, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm a nerd. He ain't no queen, though. I'll wear it. No, Shadow's the nerd queen. <laughs> oh, I'm no queen. Well, <clears throat> before I, I get myself in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nerd, but I'm no queen. Therefore, I cannot be a nerd queen. Shame. People have called me king in the comments. I don't know where that came from, but I'm happy to be a king. <laughs> Why does stream keep lagging? I don't know. I'm not dropping any frame. I don't know why. It's only YouTube seems to do that. Weird. How much training am I going for? I'm tempted just to full clear Victory Road, honestly. Knowing the uh, struggles you had last time and the uh, rare candies that you had to use. I have one idea what might be causing it. Maybe YouTube's not liking the fact I'm streaming at 180 FPS. <laughs> Whoops. I have it set to that for recording purposes. Mm -hmm. It would be really annoying, though, if I had to actually set it back whenever I stream. Yeah, that's one of the things that I like. I'm so... I like I have to triple and quadruple check every single time I go to record is that I'm actually recording in 240 FPS and like I've got different profiles set up like a 60 FPS desktop stream or capture just to like capture whatever a 240 FPS yeah. Pokemon capture and then a 60 FPS with a bunch of stream stuff like environment. It's cool. 
Oh my, dude, I'm not trying to buy that many full restores. There we go. Okay, let's, am I all prepared? I think so. Oh, wait, pause it, HM user. Hmm. I'm not gonna hit 54 with this last trainer, am I? Negative. Dang, level 53 would one-shot that Dugon. I'm only 52. Yeah, I was surprised, actually, by the uh, range. Oh my gosh, repel, run out, please. There we go. I needed, like, one wild battle. <laughs> Boom, there we go. All right, 54. Let's get back in the league. Huh, the Lapras, instead of Ice Beam, used Confuse Ray. Don't know how to feel about that. Uh, she's a troll. She's actually, that, that Lapras has been the uh, cause of many, many person berries being on me. Only for the Lapras. This is why we need replays in every gen. Uh, <laughs> what exactly? Do you mean like an emulator replay or like second playthroughs? <sighs> Just misses the shot. That's rough. Wonder if Dragon Claw will kill. Yep. Dragon Claw will kill the second Onyx. I'm resetting this attempt. This is not going well. That's, that's bad. Hmm. Apparently even Volt Tackle does not one-shot Hitmonchan. <laughs> what a jerk. I probably should have used Return now that I think about it. Uh, I need Lungs anyway. They're less defensive than they are special defensive, right? The Hitmons? I think, Hitmon, I think Hitmonchan's the same in both of them. Hmm. <sighs> All right, Eruption, bad. Oh, the crit. Why? Lapras! Urgh. Okay, we got this. Oh, I think that was supposed to be an extra one. There we go. I it's don't... okay, AMW. Uh, Shadow only gets offended if you call her the queen of nerds. <laughs> okay, why am I doing this? I'm resetting again. I'm using one rare candy. Yeah, input replays. So you can stream at 60 FPS, then refilm it at 240. Oh. Oh, interesting. So I guess I'll just need to remember that. Uh, I'll just have to keep it at 60, but before I record, I'll just have to go to the stream settings and change it back to 180. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> Ow. Well, I beat Bruno at 4 HP. He was actually <laughs> quite hard. Yeah, Bruno was uh, round two. You're you're not going to like Bruno. Uh, probably not. Yeah, I just got confused by Lapras. First turn hitting myself. Yeah. I remember at a Scott stream, he was talking about, uh, like, the best and worst gym leaders, and I jokingly said, the hiker is F-tier, Bruno C-tier. Yeah. <sighs> Honestly, I might consider Bruno being B-tier now. I don't know. It really depends on who you're running, I feel. Like, so, like some... even if you have, like, Psychic, yeah. like, so many of them, like, even with Stab Psychic, like, you'd be lucky to one-shot them. Like, you need a powerful Psychic user to one-shot them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I find Bruno, he's either he either just melts away and is a nothing trainer, or he just like absolutely walls you for no reason. <laughs> or like, you know, for yeah. a single rock tomb is what's messing up your entire strategy or something. Yeah. Alright. Eruption's not gonna be doing great. I really just ah. Uh... Hitmonchan's defense is 79, special defense 110. Huh. I know the Hitmon Lee has less defense. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. I think Hitmon Lee's closer to like 40 base or something defense. Oh, there's Lorelei. Whew. All right, moving on. I can start using fire moves again. Well, I can definitely say I'll have an easier lance than Rusharam did. Huh. All right, I guess I got that to look forward to. Oh, it looks like Dragon Claw's only one, two shotting the Dragonite. While uh, Rusharam one shot. That's just because it really hurts from the special split. Hmm. Or pre special pre physical special split. Yeah, it's it makes a big difference. I should be using extra secondary. What am I doing? Uh, you get dragon clawed. Let's go for uh, the extra century. No. Ah he survives with a sliver. It's fine. Bruno is either having a gen one movement or he's railing you like a pro Quake 2 player. <laughs> Never played Quake, 
surprisingly enough. I guess I'm just uh, too young to have played that. Quake. I hope I didn't hurt anyone's feelings by saying that. I'm offended. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets offended when I say, it's like, oh, I haven't heard of insert 90s game. Yeah, yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with that. I grew up. I know. I grew up in like, well, I grew up in the 90s, and there's a ton of stuff in the 90s that people ask me about, and it's like, huh? What? I never watched Boy Meets World. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, I should have a chest. Oh, no, no. It all falls apart. It all falls apart. Come on. Chest. Round one champ is done. Nice. I'm uh, I, struggling I against Agatha round... myself. I beat the round one champ. 522 faster than I did with Rush Ring. <laughs> Very nice. I think that's just from better player movement, honestly. I don't mm -hmm. think Zekrom's better in the early game. Yeah, I had way more resets. I think it's just from better player movement. Speed, I think you're older than me. How old are you? 21. Hi, honey. Bathroom! I have bathroom! Bathroom! Just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Was uh, your uh, girlfriend slash wife actually there? Yeah, she just got home. <laughs> oh. That's funny. All right, Fluffy. What, did you expect her to pull out, like, a little metal tray? Yep. And then you just go at it? <laughs> Yep. What is with this? I think your uh, I think your stream habits are rubbing off on my stream. Oh gosh, I can say nothing more than I'm sorry. Uh, you had a lot of trouble with Lance with Reshiram, yeah? Uh, yeah, I, just... I did actually. Mainly the Gyarados and the Aerodactyl. Oh really? Yeah, actually, I just I don't think the Aerodactyl was hard. It was or the Gyarados was hard. It was mainly the Aerodactyl that was hard. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. of ancient power. I just uh I just one shot the fool. I need to reset. I need oh. some PP. Ruby. Oh really? I'm older than you, Annie. But you know what? I think you're the first person I've seen in chat who actually who I'm actually older than. The only other ones I've seen are people who lie about being 12 years old. <laughs> I highly don't believe it. I just don't believe it like when like some new person comes to your chat, says all sorts of dumb stuff, and then they're like, oh, sorry, I'm 12. Like, I'm not sure how many times I believe that. Yeah, right. Rhydon's going to be a problem, eh? Oh, Rhydon was a serious problem for me in round one. I had to use almost all my rare candies for it in order to one-shot it with Sunny Day Eruption. Hmm. That was my only way past it. I'm looking at my moveset... <clears throat> looking at my moveset right now, and I'm kind of wondering... um. Like, the most sacrificable... Oh, right, I meant to use an elixir. Idiot. <laughs> um, the most sacrificable... Sac sacrificial? Sac sacrificable? Whatever. Uh, move on my learn set right now is Ancient Power, and I'm just not quite ready to get rid of it. <laughs> oh my god, he said A, he's Canadian? What? Me? Never. <laughs> I hope, he I hope they weren't calling me Canadian. No. Probably. I don't know. I mean, I... I mean, I live, like, a hundred miles from the Canadian border, but I'm not Canadian. <laughs> I am definitely Actually, my Canadian. girlfriend only lives, like, she only lives, like, 25 miles, I think, from the border. 25 miles? Yeah, That's not far at all. No, I think the town she lives in, like, there's, like, so many Canadians that cross over, because I think her town's got, like, a casino in it. Oh, yeah. And a lot of Canadians come over. Yeah, yeah. Like, almost every supermarket, like, there's the obvious American flag, but then right next to it will be a Canadian flag. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot around, like, uh, like Toronto and Niagara and that kind of stuff, they, throw, they fly a lot of, like, American and Canadian stuff, because, I mean, like, they're a stone's throw. They're spitting difference from each other, right? Like... Isn't Niagara Falls, like, on the border itself? I think, like, half of it is in the States and half of it is back in Canada. Something like that. It's kind of like, uh, we've got another weird one. Lloyd Minster on the Alberta-Saskatchewan border, where it's like, <laughs> which bylaws do we follow? Well, which side of town are you on? Yesterday was a good example. The guy said a lot of stuff and said, sorry, I'm 12. I'm like, sorry in advance, but that's BS. Yeah, I... I 
think that guy was... He, I think he was just being a troll, maybe. <laughs> what? You never find trolls on the internet? You no, know, no. What am I thinking? <laughs> uh, let's keep going for the eruptions. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, why did I go for eruption, you idiot? No! Executor, uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah. He knows how I feel now. No way! No! <laughs> are, you, are you having to black out of the champion? No, I, um... <laughs> um, I had a future sight incoming. I pressed the wrong move, and after getting criticaled, I was, um... Like, things were looking like, you know, this is just another reset here, but, uh... Then he missed, the future sight failed, and we hit through. <laughs> And round one is finally done. Woohoo! Yep. That was dumb, also, dumber, and dumbest luck. Yeah, absolutely. Also, why are we collecting a ruby and sapphire? I've only visited Kanto as a tourist from across the border. I mean, I think we got the. I think we got vouched by Bill, so he knows who we are. Mm hmm. Yeah, Bill, Bill's got his fingers in everything. That was the most lucky play of lucky plays. Yep. And you know what? I'm going to take it because speedrunner's in round two, and I am not. <laughs> well, then again, you were in round two way before I was, and we only we finished within like five minutes of each other. It's true. Uh, you did detour to uh, go get that extra rare candy and everything, though. I'm, uh, I'm a little that's worried. Just I mean, that's because like I used almost all my candies. But since I know where it is now... Actually, no, I don't. I'd have to scroll up in chat to find it. You know what? I'm not going to go get it. Oh, it was easy. I, don't, I never read. It was like I... north, south, east, west, west, east, north, 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 south, south, east, west, northwest, east, south. Right? Easy. The way I'm going to interpret that is north, south, east, west, east, south, east. <laughs> mouth. <laughs> That's how I'm going to interpret that. Uh, it's funny. Getting tagged by more random trainers because I love losing time. Oh, I need to have my timer running. My bad. I uh, shut it off. Pause. At the end of uh, round one, as I was waiting to come back into the game, I did pause it. My bad. It's just like, it's such, it's just muscle memory at that. Like, it, I just do it. I don't know. I, uh, I tallied it up the other day, and I think in total I've played I've played scripted and edited something like a hundred and twenty-two fire red runs in the last year. <laughs> I don't think you've made sixty videos in the last year, have you? Uh, about that. That I don't know. Like part of that does not think that's right. Where am I? But then again, like you're pretty good at maintaining a consistent upload schedule. I'm really not. Been trying. Um, there's, ah, oh, I got caught by these guys. The, uh, Those black belts that path back and forth, the two of them, and, like, you just kind of go for it. I, I haven't figured out a way beyond, or around them. Right. Let's see. All right, luckily I was able to scroll up and I found Scott's directions. Okay. <laughs> East. North. Ah, oh, dang it. I went up the ladder. East. Dang it. go all right youtube is giving me these stop vaping ads as if i vape when i don't mm. it's been so long since i experienced an ad on youtube there's no way around those black belts uh usually i find if you just kind of line yourself up in the center on the bike you can just kind of shoot right through and well they either get you or they don't south south east west south west wait what oh, am shoot. i reading something wrong like how do i keep messing this up east oh my oh i see the issue i'm supposed to go east but i keep going west yep i went west that's what i did <laughs> i went west going west again I hate this. <laughs> this whole cave is foggy. I'm just going to blame the fog. Do it. I was getting every other direction right except the first. It was the um, 
It was the fog. It was the lag. It was. <laughs> I think it's the fact that you know what? I blame Egg. Yep. I blame Egg for this. He scrambled my brain. I do that professionally. You may have noticed. If you're looking to get a good brain scramble, just talk to me for 30 minutes, especially after a stream when you're trying to like accomplish something with me and I can't get anything done because I'm just sitting there like still yeah. in high energy stream mode, but my brain isn't working. <laughs> especially if you're trying to work with overlays. Yep. Or code. Yeah. Why is it broken again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did something just break, or are you just messing with me? No, I mean, uh, the other night when we were trying to figure out why uh, none of my code was working. Oh. Twenty-six people currently watching. If you like what you see, for both myself and for Speedrunner, be sure to leave a like, comment, heck, you could even subscribe. We play Pokemon all the time. I missed a Some colon. Say too much. Oh yeah, or semicolon. Yeah, I missed a semicolon. Always. No, most of the time when uh, when I'm having coding issues, the issue is not a missed sunny semicolon. It's the fact that I have no idea what I'm looking at. So. Uh, for me, it's missed semicolons. Although, Visual Studio does help a lot with that. Yeah, very true. Yeah, Scott was the one who made me do it because he kept cringing at me editing the mappers with Notepad Plus. He was cringing so hard he told me to download Visual Studio. <laughs> Glad he told me. I uh, it was funny when uh, when Kangastan was uh, getting the script ready for me and uh, kind of we did like a little walkthrough with ah oh, you jerk these hikers too the spinning hikers um on Six Island jerks um but yeah so. I already had VS Code, and it was really funny because uh, he was actually working in Notepad Plus. <laughs> so it was like the complete opposite. The professional was using Notepad, and I was using VS Code. I mean, you can still edit code in Notepad, but it's a lot harder to see if you miss something. I, th I think he said that he does it sometimes just to bug people, and I absolutely love that. <laughs> actually, the thing I use Notepad Plus for, like, I like how when you exit out of it, all your tabs are still there, even if you don't save them as an actual document. I've so been like, I'll just paste something in there and just leave it. Yeah, I've been noticing that with um, my Windows 11 version of Notepad, because I've, ne I've never had Windows 11 before getting this computer. It seems like all of us have been upgrading our computers recently. I had to upgrade a little bit ago. Oh, the only reason 11. I'm... Sorry, the only reason I'm streaming right now is because I had an upgrade. My old computer, it just went like... <coughs> nope. <clears throat> yeah, I, I remember you talking about that. Oh, yeah. I love that thing. It's, it's still here. I can't get rid of it. That thing served me so well for, like, a decade. You know, if I was in your shoes and I finally got a new PC and my old one was at 10 years old, I would give it a funeral inside of a bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, and I'm celebrating. I was very tempted to like donate it to a school or something like that, but like it's so old. Like I just I don't know how useful it would be to them. Uh, you're telling me not seeing ads is a benefit of being a PokeTuber? No, that is a benefit of paying for YouTube Premium. I uh, I like the download feature, being able to have uh, content available for me offline when I go on walks and runs and Wait. all those kind of things. Wait, you guys pray for Premium? I I play I uh, I I pay for premium. Yes, I had to sort those words out in my brain for a second. Yeah, but I'll yes. just say my main my main method of watching YouTube. I am seeing ads just because I think premium is just way too expensive. That's fair. But when it comes to other things, I have other methods. Yeah, I don't really pay for anything else though. Like I think I have Netflix is still mine, but like no other subscriptions. And of course a. Subscription to Thought Scott's Thoughts membership. <laughs> I'm on his Patreon, so unfortunately I don't get that little member badge unless someone happens to gift a sub. Yeah, I, I've, I've got. I, I don't even know actually because like I I, I have it on my personal account because that's where I actually watch YouTube's and not on not on the exceptional side of things. So I have to actually check and see what uh, what badge I'm at. Uh, uh you get ancient I powered. What am I going to have for, let's see, uh, sub Thunderbolt, uh, hmm. Why am I saving before these guys? I don't need to save here. Are you, uh, constructing your league yeah. set? 
Uh, well, ret I don't think return is gonna. You know what? I should probably just get rid of Volt Tackle. But hmm. then again, the extra power might come in clutch for something. Mm hmm. Mm, I'll get rid of return. No, don't dig, fly. And, uh, let's see. And I guess, oh, I'll need Earthquake for the Steelix, I guess. Uh, Earthquake is what I used on the Steelix, yes. Hmm. You know what? It's either keep Thunderbolt or Thunder. I should Thunderbolt or Volt Tackle. I'll probably get rid of Volt Tackle for mm -hmm. the Earthquake. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to go back to Saffron to pick up Psychic, just to give me some moveset flexibility. All right, is there any other TMs I'm going to want? Uh, don't see anything I'd want. Uh, how much money do I have? Yeah, Not enough? I might barely have enough. Uh, I've got super potion. I got oh, I got like fourteen full restores. I'm fine. Yeah, let's go buy flamethrower just in case. Don't know if I'm gonna need it, but uh, going into the leagues, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. I got the money right now. Oh no! What'd you do? I bought fifty coins. And I don't oh. have the money to not you buy another round you of only... 50 coins. I think the 50 and 500, when you look at the math, it's the same money per coin. It is, but after buying yeah, everything that I needed for the TM, I have like 600 bucks left. And I just bought Ice Beam! You idiot! No! Um, do you have a... Do you have Rewind enabled on your Retroarch? <laughs> no. Uh, can have I you saved recently? Learn Ice Beam? No. Oh, we're going to find out. Uh, okay, that's not terribly far back. That sucks. Oh, well. That's what I get for just, like, spamming buttons and listening, or, like, trying to read a bit of chat and listen to you. <laughs> not. You hear that, chat? Egg blames you for his problems. That's right, chat. <laughs> that's why Mewtwo didn't get a sub hour when I was running Mewtwo on stream. Chat distracted me the entire time. Egg, we need you to swear. Okay, yeah, I think you need to switch YouTube recording 60 FPS. 20 p which forces 60 FPS, it's lag. Yeah, I think for streams, I'll need to go out of my way and set it back to 60. Just and use then it just when I record, I'll have to set it back. Yeah, that's that's what I do. I just have like two profiles saved in OBS. I should probably look into that. Just a stream profile, a desktop capture, and then a fire red capture. Or I guess just a capture in general that I have at 240. One island, okay. Uh, just use a cheat code for coins with how I'm feeling right now and the fact that we're streaming. Um, I could see that taking a lot longer than just resetting. <laughs> Dancing between windows trying to figure out what I'm doing. Right. Uh, oh no. Where was I? I need to black out of the league. Already? I forgot the leftovers again. Oh no. Well, it's a good thing I deposited my HM users. Yep. So that was quick. All right, I think I just need Pidgey. I don't have my money. Oh my gosh. I'm all over that the place right now. That was embarrassing. What was? It was embarrassing, yeah. Oh, the fact that you... Yeah. Yeah, I was all the way at Bruno, too. <laughs> because it's just such a habit for me to go and grab the leftovers, I, uh... Okay, hold on. Well, it's a habit for you, because you do round two every time. 35. TM 35. Okay, yes, it's a habit for me, and so, yeah, like, uh, my first trip after clearing the uh, round one league is always just get that uh, leftovers so that I, I don't forget it. All right, stepping into the league. Let's see how this goes. 621 bucks to my name. Dollary dues. Poke dollars. What are they? They're not yen. Pilot swine. You get erupted. Yes. 
Uh, if you're on an emulator, you need to enable disable once you set the cheats up. Yeah, yeah, cheats. <laughs> I try not to use them. Should have gone for AP against Lapras, please. Yes, beautiful. It really irritated me during that Lorelei run with Reshiram that mm -hmm. the Dugon has thick fat. It yeah. took so much to get Eruption to be a two shot because it just wouldn't be a two shot. <laughs> I went a, a different a different route. I've uh, I've still got Ancient Power on my set. I deleted that like after Brock. <laughs> I, uh... I'm not relying on a ten percent boost. Thank you. I'm not relying on it. It's nice coverage, and if I get the boost, then I say, yippee! Yeah, Bruno's out of here. Bum, bum, bum. I don't have my leftovers equipped. Oh, right as I swap out for a Chesto. I probably should have kept that out on for Agatha. Level 69 is not a nice level. Earthquake left Hitmonlee at 1 HP. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, what was I doing now? Let's get a Lum on for Agatha, actually. I'm a cheater, so I don't really mind. <laughs> Fair enough, Osman. That's funny. Hey, Malik. Glad you could make it. No worries. That hurt. Still lived. Somehow. Oh, I'm out of eruptions. Oh, fine. I knew you were going to do that hit, Monchan. I knew it. <laughs> What's he up to this time? I was spamming Earthquake on the Steelixes, and he sent out a uh, Hitmonchan. I used Substitute, thinking he was going to use a certain move, and he did. He used Counter. Counter, yep, beautiful. He must. I was thinking he would predict I'd use Earthquake again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always love that. Yeah. Being able to kind of like outplay Hitmonchan because he goes for the Counter if you knock out the pre the preceding Pokemon with a physical move. Usually, not all the time, but. Yeah. What? It's the Hall of Fame music playing right now. We aren't done yet. You are not gonna like the champion. <laughs> I just made it to what Lance. Level are you? Uh, 69. What level are you? Have you used it? How, what candies you got? Um, I don't know. I'll check in a second. I'm just uh, resetting because I need to elixir myself. I have seven yeah. candies left. Alright. I was level 75, and even then, it needs a lot of luck. Mm hmm. I don't Did think Lance is giving me two Sunny levels. Day. What's that? Did you at least pick up Sunny Day. Yes. I like how you think about that. No, I was thinking about Lance. Um, I just saw, I forgot, right, Lance, round two Lance just like went away with a Thunderbolt last time. I had to think about what I'm doing here as uh, obviously Thunder Wave is not nice. Another Dragon Claw, beautiful. Just smash through with Dragon Claw. All right, critical hit. Mm. Don't know if I needed it, but I got it. Um, Aerodactyl. Let's get Dragon Claw. Oh, uh, brutal. All right, Kingdra, please go down. Yeah, you should. Yeah, no worries. Okay. I'm on to the champion. Just, we both just KO'd the Kingdra at the same time, but I'm still on Lance because he sent it out third. Ah, uh, gotcha. Um, that let's funny, get though. leftovers on. I'm just going for it. I'm using all my rare candies right now. I have no reason not to. I am not planning a second run, so I'm not trying to optimize and figure out what's possible. So let's just go for it. I'm doing it too. Keeping the move set the same. Uh, yes. Me too. Let's jump in. Have fun with Heracross. I don't think it's. Well, yeah, I guess it'd be kind of annoying. <laughs> Oh, Tyranitar. I was not prepared. That wasn't too bad. Gyarados second. That's interesting. Yeah, I was questioning that one too. Uh, considering, you know, Thunderbolt. Because I know Reshiram, uh, Tyranitar is out second. Does anybody know if... Um, there it is. If the AI will... Okay, well, I wonder what, what do we need... Um, yeah, if the Ow. if the AI prioritizes based on the species at all, like right now we're running essentially what would be a ho o, -Oh, so a fire flying type. So would that impact mm. what the I, person sends I think, in? I think the AI only looks at your types. I think it's just mm -hmm. the typings that matter. 
Extrasensory. I'm trying to think of what move I want to get rid of here. Let's get rid of AP. Nope, nope, nope. Let's not get rid of AP. I'm going to save that for Charizard. I was wondering what AP was. Ancient power, yeah. <laughs> 126, 52. You finished? First try champion. Nice. Very nice. So I think we can confirm Zekrom pretty much does a better job at Fire Red than Brushram does. It's weird, eh? Usually the uh, usually the physical attacker has the easier time, but uh, coverage was weird in this one. Honestly, I think it's just because Electric is better in the leagues in general than Fire. Mm -hmm. Actually, it I'm going to quickly look up uh, their, def their stats specifically. Yeah. I know there's... I want to see if there's a differences. All right. There's Reshiram. There's Zek. Nah, Gyarados. Oh, here's another one. Zekram has 120 defense. Reshiram's 100 defense. Mm. And special defense is swapped. I think in round two, physical defense is more important than special defense. Just because of Earthquake. Definitely. Absolutely. It allowed yep. the Zekram to just live live hits better mm -hmm. plus thunderbolt offensively is just better than because like with reshiram i had to rely on sunny day boosted eruptions to knock out things yeah and i'm honestly, so guys, worried about them because like, i'm guys, just i am kind of up, up sir i am kind of upset reshiram lost just because reshiram is my favorite but zekram used to be my favorite as a kid because i played white version first i think i've painted myself into a corner a little bit all right guys let's Go take a look at Mr. Egg. Let us see. Earthquake. Ah, Tyranitar. Why? Yeah, Gyarados, you're not gonna... What can I do different here? Because he outspeeds me after the Dragon Claw. Or after the Dragon Dance. I can't dig any more speed out of myself. He's gonna just outspeed and, yeah. Dragon Dance Earthquake what? takes me out every time, so I gotta take out Gyarados in two shots, but I don't know how. Yeah. Uh, I had to use Sunny Day Boosted Eruption twice. Or no, not twice. Uh, That's only if he uses a turn. Actually, I had to get lucky in him using two Dragon Dances in a row, but it's really rare. Yeah. I'm, That's uh, what I had to do. I'm fishing. Yeah. Reshiram just really suffers in this league. Yep. Yeah, I'm definitely... I'm just fishing. I still have AP, so I'm just going to fish for an AP boost. Hit me with Rock Tomb. I don't care. <laughs> just power me up a little bit. I'm, I'm surprised both times you didn't think of getting Substitute. Like, it can help, like, get you a free setup or two. It's true. Um, especially with the Fire type, though, I'm very scared with setting up... Uh, a sub. Um, hmm. No, I don't want Zekram the extra damage. Zekram is my favorite, but Reshiram is far from a bad choice. No, Reshiram's still very good. It's like, if I was doing a playthrough solely based on round one, because my final times generally do not include round two, I think Reshiram would do better. But in terms of round two, Zekram's just better. It's just better equipped for the champion. Oh, why? <sighs> oh. Sorry. Oh, it's a bit behind. Oh, I, I just saw that. I just saw that. Oh, yeah, no. That was heartbreaking. Finally get my boost, and it criticals, and he counters for the first time. Didn't you say you were looking forward to using a special attacker? I was, until I realized that we have fire and dragon <laughs> for coverage. I mean, I guess we got psychic and, like, you know, some other things mixed in, but, like, my coverage does not feel like it's helping me much. No Omni no. Boost. I don't like hunting for the Omni Boost, but aside from leaving the league and grinding, I don't see things going better. Or leaving the league to get substitute and change up my moveset. Like, I just... Yeah. I've kind of painted myself into a corner here. Yeah. Man, I feel kind of bad. Like, I, I feel like I have tried to prepare for... prepare you for this, and you're still suffering pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Interesting, no sunny day. I guess you're just keeping that as a backup. I've got it in the bag, but um, I don't know. Like, hmm. I feel like earthquake for Rushram didn't help. You know what? But then, it, 
my final move set, I think, for Reshiram was Sunny Day, Fire Blast, Solar Beam, and Substitute. I'm going to try this out. Uh, I'm going to keep Ancient Power. I'm not going to save. I'm just going to see how this goes. HP Electric? No, I'm not using any hidden powers in this one. Plus, he doesn't um, have hidden power. Just to... I do, actually. <laughs> Wait, what? You actually found one? Oh, you filthy cheater. <laughs> you could have used it, and I would have never known. No. I I do not like dishonest. I cannot abide dishonesty. Rock Tomb, that sucks. What's that drop me to? 134 is awful. Yeah, no. So instead... Oh, God, but in order to reset, I would have to... So I'm either fishing for a Rock Tomb miss or an AP boost. Like, that that's what I'm fishing for right now. What I had to fish for, since I had Substitute, the Heracross wasn't a problem, I had to fish for Gyarados using two Dragon Dances in a row. That's what I had to fish for. Yeah. That's worse. Kind of nasty. I guess following Scott's no encounter cheats? Oh, the, yeah. like, uh, yeah, like what he runs on the uh, initial routes. I'm tempted to at least cheat myself in a max repel in Soul Silver. The uh, first route is ludicrous, the amount of wild battles you see on it. I mean, then again, like, I like to utilize those for early training. Like, just skip one of the optional trainers. Just do the free wild ones. That's fair. If fair. you can one-shot them. If you can one-shot everything, then it really doesn't cost you. Mm -hmm. I just feel like while encounters are part of the game, you just got to learn to work around them. Yeah, it's fair. Like, I know Scott's just going yes. after, like, just your data results. But I, I want my results to be feel like uh, like Pokemon-based results, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. No, it does. It does, absolutely. Oh, come on! Uh, I feel bad. <sighs> Yeah, of course it's a range too. Okay, Gyarados, what you got? There, Egg, I got a surprise for you. Thank you. Oh, five memberships. Thank you, Speedrunner. Yeah, I really I appreciate bad. that. Oh, you. I was expecting a dragon dance there. That sucks. All right, keep trying. Keep trying. Yeah, you're having to suffer what I had to suffer through. Yeah. Rock Tomb. If I could just get, like... Oh, my resets reset it. Did anyone in my chat see, like, when I beat the champion, how many resets I had? 400. Yeah, I accidentally uh, reset my reset counter when I was typing in uh, the secret number. Secret number? Where's the secret number? Where'd I get the secret number? I don't see a secret number. Oh, that. Yeah. I see. For, yeah. I see I the secret to type number. that in, and I reset it. Because I have that number on my keypad mm -hmm. somewhere, and I reset it. Hopefully someone was watching. <laughs> if not, I can just rewind my own VOD. That's what I like about YouTube streaming. You can easily rewind the VOD. Oh, you can just like you in can. the display or in the uh, browser there? Yeah. Heracross, why? I'm very okay. tempted, since this is going so poorly, I am very tempted to switch over to your uh, Sunny Day Solar Beam fishing. Still fishing, but, you know. I did have to rely on... Well, without Substitute, you got extra luck to deal with for the Heracross. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was 10 resets. Okay, there we go. Okay, I got an Earthquake. I'm at plus one. Going All right, guys, eruption. let's take a look. All right, everyone on my end, let's take a look at the leaderboard for my backboard run. It's not going to be accurate just because they were four times speed, but we can try our best to convert. <sighs> this is a range. Twice I've missed the range on Tyranitar. Three times I've... Okay, so this is obviously not a favorable range. All right. Garrett so was... the Zekrom run was 102.23 at round one on four times. Fish, please don't outspeed me now. That honestly put I, yes. I actually I don't think these would be too accurate. I did have to prepare for round two the whole time. Okay, so charming. Yeah, I'll That's just not put these on. Come on. Yeah, I'm not putting I'll these have... on mine. No, I don't know. I figure for you, like you'd be fun to just compare with like your vanilla Pokemon, see like who, what vanilla Pokemon did better. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I figured you weren't gonna put it on, but at least comparing would be kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, God, this is why oh, I should have taught a flamethrower instead of eruption, because flamethrower would be so much better here. Yeah. 
And I don't think Eruption has the power to kill. Because that's like... No, that's going to be a pathetic amount of power. That's like Ember power right now. Yeah. Let's go for the Dragon Claw. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'll just need to save these for just another day when... I feel like just doing one more playthrough with and getting a more accurate time. Mm -hmm. Just with only round one, because doing round two does inflate the round one time. Yes. Like, if I was only doing round one, I would have had substitute in the first round. I would have. Yeah. Well, and the fact that oh, you have well. to go over to the Sevi Islands and everything like that as well. Yeah. Oh, Whew. you did it when I wasn't looking. Can you do it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, it's that one scene from Spongebob. Patrick's like, do it again. I wasn't looking. <laughs> Absolutely not. I think not. it was that one. I think that was that episode where Spongebob was going sand sledding and he heard his bu his, his whole butt just shattered apart. <laughs> it was like really early season. Oh, man. It, yeah, that I've been I'm so out of touch with. Well, Spongebob, everything. Gosh, well, my whole life has been Pokemon. I haven't. I haven't well, I quit watching that when I was like probably 11 years old because mm -hmm. I remember there was a certain time. It might have been like 2010 where the episodes just really sucked. Yeah. So I would only I either quit watching it or only watch like the early seasons because those were actually funny. Yeah. A lot of yeah. good meme content is in those early seasons. <laughs> oh, no kidding. It's like half the memes on the internet are, or internet are SpongeBob yeah. memes. Yep. Well, good game. Z yep. I'm actually curious. Yeah, I'm this a, was definitely a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. I'm uh, scrubbing back in my VOD to see what my Zekrom got for a final time. Uh, Come on. It's right there. Nope, that's Agatha. My rest ramp was, uh, let's see. There it is. Well, I can't remember what my old rush ram time was, but I know my Zekram time's seventeen twenty eight faster. <laughs> can you do the entire run again? I wasn't watching. What kind of? That's impossible. I can see your chat history, Os Osman. <laughs> I can see your history. Don't lie. weren't watching. You were watching. You were paying attention. Maybe brick you break it. instead of earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I did see the brick break suggestion. Sorry, I didn't answer it. Um. I got my uh, move sets mixed up here, so Reshiram was yeah. not able to learn Brick Break, unfortunately. Yeah. Second playthrough go. We just did two playthroughs. Um, I'm looking at mine, though. So, uh, Zekrom finished with 10 less resets, but four minutes faster for me. Only 10 less. My Zekrom playthrough was like 30 less resets. Rush I think I had a similar amount of resets you did to Reshiram. I think it was like 35, 37. Uh, I've got 42 on Reshiram, 32 on Zekrom. Yeah. My real time, though, was like 145-something. So mm -hmm. you definitely got a better real time because of my advice. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think also, like, just the fact that we, we came into the second runs warm, you know, like we'd already played, so... <laughs> yeah, definitely. This was fun. This was awesome. Thank you for uh, providing the... Run uh, the um, for the uh, invite, thank you, Axew, for providing us with the uh, backports. Mm -hmm. yep everyone on my end if you don't know exceptional he does a lot of good fire red stuff so make sure to check that out plus apparently soul silver starting on friday wish me luck well it's already edited and uploaded but you know wish me luck mm -hmm. um and yeah for everybody on my side of things if you uh, are unfamiliar with speedrunner he does a ton of different pokemon content uh he runs a lot more generations than i do um, as well as I've caught him in a couple of uh, other fun games like uh, Ocarina of Time randomizers. Uh, what were you playing last night? The Crash 'em Smash 'em? Uh, it was an N64 game called Blast Score. Yeah, I used yeah, to speedrun yeah. it a lot. There you I go. was attempting to run it again, and I got frustrated and let my potty mouth go a few times. <laughs> it happens. It happens. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the game just came out on Switch Online, too, so that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Like, it was really cool, like, seeing one of my favorite 64 games get ported. And then the whole comment section was all people just like, oh, man, I wanted Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> DK64. Yeah, everyone wanted DK. I like, think... in that trailer, they saw the Rare logo. Everyone yeah. was thinking Donkey Kong. But, yeah. nope, there was no Donkey Kong. No, DK64 was, like, 
probably my favorite N64 game. I put a lot of time yeah. into Smash Bros, but, uh, you know, all my friends were like, come I... play Goldeneye with us. Nah, Donkey Kong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of curious, like, why they haven't ported over Smash 64. Like, that'd be an interesting one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, do you want to do your outro first, or should I go first? Um, My outros during streams are absolutely insane, so maybe I'll just quickly say thanks for coming, everybody. If you enjoyed what you saw today uh be sure to let both of us know if you'd like to see something like this again in the future more backported pokemon slash runs between speed or races i guess i should say between speedrunner and myself um had a ton of fun today thank you everybody for showing up uh like comment subscribe all that youtube stuff and uh yeah thank you speedrunner mm -hmm. all right everyone on my end thank you all for stopping by i do appreciate it the next stream will be, let me bring up my schedule again. I know this Saturday we are doing the Torterra backport with uh, uh, Gym Leader Matt. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Yep, that'll be the next stream, Saturday. Gym Leader Matt. I will see you all then. Bye. Perfect. And I'll just quickly add in my coming content. Sorry. <laughs> see, outro is bad. Um, tomorrow I have uh, Pokemon Soul Silver, my first solo run. Turtwig line, so evolving up to Torterra. We are finishing round one, round two, and red. So join me for that yes. tomorrow at 3 p.m. Mountain Time. 3 p.m. Mountain Time. Huh? Or, yeah, yeah. It's that, uh, That's... Is that what you normally upload, or is that later than usual? No, that's my usual. I I need to. I've, I've been thinking about just switching the Friday premiere to be one p.m. my time, just to match the stream, just uh, to allow my lovely EU audience to join in, because I know it's quite late for you when I'm uh, at the current time. But anyway, to oh. this week's uh, tomorrow will be at three o'clock Mountain Time, five o'clock Eastern. And then, as I mentioned earlier in the stream, my next stream on Tuesday, March 12th at 1 p.m. Mountain Time, 3 Eastern, is going to be with the one and only Scott's Thoughts. So come join us for some uh, shenanigans for that. Thank you. Okay, I'm done now. You can... Okay, bye. <clears throat> All right. You just ended it? I didn't end it, but, you know, I can't. Oh, dang it. Everyone heard <laughs> that. <laughs> All right, I'm ending the stream. Much love, everybody. We'll see you Friday, tomorrow. All right, bye. There we go. I, I right. ended my it now. Stream had a, my stream had a peak and current of 14.5. <laughs>